Blog Talk Radio. I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave me.
host of Nostra Radio. We are Poetry Family, located at allpoetry.com. And I'd like to thank Kevin and the crew for giving us a place to call home. We believe in freedom of speech. However, not all of the views and opinions on the show by the guests and poets are reflective of the Costa Nostra ownership and management and are of their own free will. Enjoy this La Costa Nostra program. Adam, you there? Yeah, hey. What's up, boo? <laughs> uh-huh, What's I got on? it. What's going on? What's yeah, up? we made it through. We made it through, made it mm-hmm. on. Drop and you read. Like Oh my God! It's like when you did those runs from mm-hmm. the solo, like while you're still mm-hmm. maintaining the rhythm. Epic! Mm-hmm. That's so fuck. Oh, that's just <laughs> that was you know crazy to think you know that song he wrote that uh, out of the idea of um, when it, there it was you know they that was off Ride the Lightning, their second album. Yep. So they already had built some you know huge fan base when they blew up. But someone stole all their instruments, like all the guitars, yeah. on the road while they were on the road, and he wrote that song about that. That super fucking yeah. beautiful, depressing song is really written from the emotion of having your instruments stolen. But I guess as musicians, you and I could probably relate to that. <laughs> like, but who's gonna steal a effing piano? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, good luck. fucking with my shit, <laughs> and I'm not gonna be an effing. If I'm a yeah, real teenager true. crying to that song, like you know what I mean? Like in the when I found out it's yeah, about really. basically his guitar being stolen, I was like, Oh, they kinda of took the wind out of my sails of the depression. <laughs> you can't be so you sad anymore once you hear Yeah, agreed. But you might but you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so Well so far um, it's just me and you. You wanna what's up? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. How you, um how do you wanna proceed? I sent out some invitations. This is impromptu, I should say, by the way, so we don't even know if anyone's going to come, but we were, figured we'd do it anyway. Uh, see how it goes, so. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to put some stuff up on the board, too, and then I sent out some invitations. I sent G a, um, one, too, so I'll uh, see who I can bother. But how about, how do you want to do it? Let's, um. We can just, uh, <laughs> read. just random. Yeah. Or unless you want to go by like, what you want to do, but I don't know if that's to you. Um, how about how about this? How about you? We just for fun until other people come. You just go and we just like randomly pick a page and just put our finger and pick something from the from the things. <laughs> if we can do it, if we can do it. Or ooh, I got an even better idea. But it's got to be I artwork, right? Um, yeah, I can make this. Um, well, that'd be too tricky, how, probably. Never mind. How about this? Yeah. We go back and this? forth. We go back and forth, verse for verse, off the top of our dome. Oh Lord, are you serious? Okay. I <laughs> I'm definitely serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the freestyle! I never do freestyle. You don't get you don't get, a, you don't get a you don't get a peek at your notebooks or nothing. You better not be cheating. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I got. I just got really quick. I got to copy the link for everybody because. Right on. Uh, yeah, I, I put a couple little messages in the ch- chat form on all poetry. And, okay. Um, so, but just to sure let people know if they if they if they check it out. But yeah, put the drop it on them. Mm-hmm. Drop it on them and see what happens. Otherwise, it's me and you hanging out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know Stephen K have a show now too, so that might could be it as well. But uh, I didn't want them to think we're stuck on those twos. We were just bored. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I'm going to send this to everybody over here, Silk. And then Raz. Oh, yeah, man, where's the that? runner? We need the, we need the <laughs> usual suspects, man. <laughs> yeah, they, they also we have a shoe today, so they're probably thinking, what? Yeah, Razzmatazz. Razzle Dazzle. Rack will come. Rack will Rack come. Rack Rack Rack. He's got, like, the funnest name. But it's like, and anytime I go Rasmussen. to spell it off the top of my head, I'm like, what the heck? How do you spell it again? Is it O before E? E for you? Is there a U in it? 
I've never been a good speller. Like I've never been a quality speller all my life. No, I can't. I've excelled, can't you know, in school, but I've never was a great speller. It was just something that's in my brain. It's like broken about spelling. But like in grade school, I I scored post high school, so that's college level. When I was in grade school, in all subjects, but they don't test for spelling. If I would have been testing for spelling, I would have probably been behind a couple of years because I was the worst. Even though I had a huge vocabulary, too. You know, I had this crazy vocabulary. It was a thing. I loved words. I loved learning about them, you know. And writing's always been interesting and invocative to me. It always pulls me. You know, I I, I love it. And I, I know that you do, too. I mean, 6,000 poems yeah. have grown strong. I can only imagine <laughs> like the notebook the notebooks you have filed away in boxes rubber banded probably together <laughs> I I think that's so cute when people write on the notebooks so it's adorable like, it's, it's it's that that, it's that was my way that was that was, yeah it's it's yeah. it's all, there's something special about pen or pencil to pad yeah. it's you know, Randall sent me a, um, a book. but it wasn't he sent once me a, um, no, he sent me a um of old like um binder, you know, I mean not a binder, like an old like leather bound that you write Ooh, poetry in and, and the like old the string. Quill, the quill. You tie it like with the yeah, string. Yeah, and the quill. Yeah, and the old school quill. And then he twice he wrote me a letter with the quill just because he's like no and he said nobody sends letters anymore. That's beautiful. no one does that. No letters. one does send letters anymore. And it's so once upon a time, yeah, wait, that's an awesome idea, Randall. That's cool, man. I, it's a lost art. And, you know, like, yeah. even just like 100 years ago, you were dying to get a letter from your family. You know, and it took months. Oh, yeah. It took, you know, it took all this time. And, and, written with a and you know, you and, and when a letter would come in, it was like it was like the news. You know, you everyone mm-hmm. got around, gathered around, and read the letter together and read it over and over. It was a special thing. And we're so yes, disconnected, yes. yet they say we're more connected. But it's a weird yeah, juxtaposed so, paradox. So mm-hmm. It's just, you know, it, it it's kind of like new knowledge, old knowledge fades. New, you know, the new culture and the old culture gives way. You know, I'm already mm-hmm. rhyming, yeah, speaking in time, around. man. Mm-hmm. Come on, boo, let's do this verse for verse. I got to challenge you, mm-hmm. queen of the Uh-oh. piano. She's got that Louisiana, Louisiana blues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she can rock the oh. piano. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll go, I'll just fill it up the air, but it was like it's like one of the golden rules of radio, right? No dead air. No dead air. No dead air. Well, me and you both could talk to a fucking brick wall, so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I know we could. I, this something I've always been able to. I just I'm a, a Gemini. Communication is my thing. Mercury is the planet that runs me. Um, the, they are the masters of communication. Like if every sign has their one thing, if they did, Gemini is communication, and I've just been a chatterbox. Mm-hmm. And Sagittarius, you know, is kind of the chatterbox. which sign you are is the same mm-hmm. is similar. I was I've been told yeah. that the Gemini is the student of the Sagittarius. And usually uh, they say mm-hmm. that Gemini and Sagittarius don't get along, but I think it's only if you're the same gender. Like a male Gemini won't get along mm-hmm. with a male Sag, but actually is compatible because you're a fire sign, but you know you're also mutable. Mutable means yeah. you're, you go with the flow. You're flexible. You know, mm-hmm. that's, and you? I'm a mutable <laughs> sign, but but you're fire and I'm air. You know, that's like a, that's a that always makes you think of that um, Rihanna and Eminem song. This is what it's like when a hurricane meets a volcano. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I like that. when a tornado hurricane meets a volcano. Yeah, I love that. Oh, yeah, yeah. a tornado meets a, it's a yeah, volcano. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. tornado. That's hurricane works shit, right same. There. Yeah, but it's like because yeah. they feed each other. They feed each other. Yeah. But it can be positive <laughs> or it can be negative. True, true. Yeah, I love that video. That video is really cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put him right there. There we go. I'm going to invite Papa. I see his, him there. Okay. Uh, Big Papa Terminus. Oh, yeah. OG. Okay, you ready? Born ready. Are you ready? All right, so how are we going to do it? We're going to go, like, 
we're going to, I guess we do like a poetic. So say something poetic, you know, like say a line, one verse, not like a couplet. I mean, if you want, unless you want to do like something couplet like, but like express a thought in poetic, in a poetic nature. And then, you know, off the top of your head, and then I'll just reply and we'll keep it going. Should we be right now? I don't know. Maybe it would be kind of cool, but like, you can go back, you know, after you listen to the show and try to write down what we were saying. But we're like just going to yeah. spontaneously free verse a poem together. I guess it'll be like a collab. Because we'll have to okay. tread yeah. tread lightly. Who knows where we'll go with this? <laughs> I'm going to follow your lead, though. You're going to tell me the tone. Like what you say yeah. is going to give me the tone of what we're going to be doing. Okay. All right. Um Okay, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking of which direction to go, which, okay, I should just, uh, just come up with something, I guess. Oh, okay, I think I'm probably overthinking, so, okay. Just go from the uh, Your eyes are like the darkest night, adored with a myriad of sparkling stars. That shine briskly in my fade. As I fall further and deeper away, but that brilliance carries on like a memory into the dawn. Oh, that's good. So we're rhyming, right? I, just, I thought so. Just check. Um, memory in the dawn. Okay. Um, gazing into me, a breathless intensity. Every moment uniquely ours, setting me ablaze. Our, no, ours, shit, man. <laughs> okay, gazing into me, a breathless intensity, every moment, every, every hour, uniquely ours with a unique power. A power which transcends these realms of mortal men. You've given me the breath to fight again. And as I claw oh. my way from the depths of sticks, I see the light of the dawn risen now as a sun, a phoenix of hope resurrected to carry on. Oh, okay. Um, let's take it slow with strokes gentle and bold. Your arms, my own private sanctuary for you, for you to hold. Hmm. Huh. Cradled here, now to my bosom, fair <laughs> love, I did not know, until she kissed the tombs of my fingertips, stroke by stroke, she said to take it slow. Okay. Um, yeah, that was trash. Um, that last light sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are inspiration personified, um, a beautiful work of art. Your quill is my temple, your poetry my art. <laughs> but you are the ink from deep within, beloved seraphim, this angel from on high. A muse true, unable to be captured even by God's eye. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'll, maybe this will be like the ending uh, stanza. Let me make it something good. Um, you know, my God's eye. Okay. Um, forget the outside world that logic can't stand. Um, Ignore the mental masonry of things unplanned. Uh, someone's calling me. Let me get rid of that. Of things unplanned. Um, okay, things unplanned. Um, and a bitter, as bitter tears, as bitter tears uh, dry. No, as bitter tears fall from eyes reducing stone to sand. I'm stupid. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. Oh, uh, that's what we get. There you go. Boom. Sorry. And <laughs> I was, I was going to try to, like, bring it back. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, bring it back. Try to bring it back. Sand 
grain by grain, the hourglass of her frame. I watch, hypnotized, mesmerized by her bold, flaming refrains, like fire inhaled as breath, internally combusting as an engine, resurrect. You are truth in form, if ever I could delay this and think of all. <laughs> we're <laughs> nuts, <laughs> we're this. <laughs> okay, like, what the hell? Um, how about this? Stuck in a whirlwind fantasy of, uh, no, stuck in a whirlwind fantasy, embers that burn like a flame. Tucked. No, that's stupid. Did you just uh, <laughs> I you just I like Yeah, I'm trying to make it like like a good fucking kick in the balls, like romantic ending or something powerful ending. Don't worry, when we put this all together, then we'll edit it. We'll sound so stupid later. Um, but you know what I was thinking. I wonder if it will actually co. I wonder if it would actually be coherent when seen like as a as as the body, like if our minds carry. I feel like we carry the thought at least well enough through. Yeah. Maybe we should you know. have written it, like, on the board. You know, maybe that would have helped, maybe. But um, how about... um? Maybe we should have written on see. the board, like, line for line for But it's, like, that's too much yeah. of a delay, you know, just pulling from our mind. It kind of keeps that's us... That's true. I don't know. So you want to you want to <laughs> abandon this, this yeah, free-flowing... Isn't versus... it strange how in this brief poetic exchange of creative impulse, we we gain a certain kind of intimacy... Written here in words in on the on the air live poetry. <laughs> Shit. The coast okay, of Nostra, come hang out with Boo and me. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people who are like you two are seriously tripping. Anyway, don't worry, we can always delete this episode. So later we'll ah. work on it when we get the live episode. We'll work don't on it. Don't even worry we'll about deleting it. Let it be <laughs> what it be. It's yeah, natural. Chill, it's natural. It just it just it's seems odd because it's just me and you for now. Yeah, but I mean, you know, and it's okay. At least you have the balls to do it. Nobody else. But people <laughs> will show up. Big old. Did I put the link in the board? Oh, I haven't checked the board for a second. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you don't like keep oh, one I frame up. I didn't put the link on the board, did not I? No wonder. Oh, duh. Normally I keep one frame. Yeah, okay. you did. Yeah, you did. The link, link. No, not the link, link. Just the. Tag like yeah, maybe put the link the there. Banner. Okay. How did I not do that? Oh, that's weird. No wonder. Okay, that explains that. Uh, I did send it here though. Let me go get rabbit from over here. Okay, I sent it to. I don't know why I sent one to Sal. Well, she's in Germany. Like hello. Um. Yeah, she's okay, so traveling here. abroad. I was happy to hear from her. I got a couple messages from her. Hey, how about this? How about yeah, we so um do one of Sal's and I'm of Sal. I wrote her a pontoon. That stuff is easy. You had me so freaked out. Like, well, when you, I, did? <laughs> you did? Oh, let's yeah, but hear I'm that. saving let's that. I'm saving that. No, 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 no. I'm mm-hmm. saving that for the Sawa night. Okay, yeah, good idea. <laughs> You're like, you think no, it's I guess hard? I could, I think I could, it's a pain in the ass. No, I thought it was I cool. You know, I was, I was re- I, and like, I, you know, I, I thought it was really it cool. Well, actually, I might. It sounds, really good. it sounds pretty cool, but you know, I think I might have messed amazing. up though because I didn't do syllables. Oh, you have to do syllables. You have She'll to make do it syllables. syllables. I know. I was thinking yeah. she'll get me. She'll get me for sure. <laughs> get you. But I didn't. Um, no, I didn't use syllables. I didn't do the eight six. Mm-hmm. Syllable. Oh, you have to. It's not really a real. I pantoon. did. I did the rhyme. Well, the the page I was on to look up how to do a pantoon. It didn't. It didn't um, say anything about syllables, following syllable guidelines. It didn't like make that out to be a necessity of a pantoon. Mm-hmm. But then I saw something um, else really? that said, "Yeah, it's got to mm-hmm. be alternate rhyming. Yeah. You got to repeat. You got to re- reframe uh, a lot the lines. And you know, as you know." And you also have to do eight and six syllables back and forth or something like yeah. that. So yeah. it t- it's not probably, yeah, Sal is going to get me. It's not a true pantom. Mm-hmm. 
So I guess I could do it and just make a, a true one. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, everybody, whoever happens to come or calls in or is listening, we have this great friend in Sawa. She's I Love Poems on allpoetry.com. She's traveling abroad right now and been gone, and we miss her a lot. She usually is a regular caller and a great poetess. And she wrote and it's uh, she wrote a poem for my, uh, one of my shows I did, um, and it was a pantoon, this style that we, me and Boo have been back and forth talking about. So I wrote a uh, poem inspired by her and thought and feeling and also kind of like echoes back to her poem. Uh, so I do not speak French, but I made the title of the poem in French, but it, what it means is without, sans pour autant, but I think, I, I probably butchered that, um, but it means without in French. Without you here in the deep noir of the abyss, shadows twist and turn on weary dream, suffocating every inch speck and dust of wish, color me again in your longing beauty of steam. Shadows twist and turn in on weary dream, Though darkened channels I wander alone, color me again in your longing beauty of steam, sequenced upon flesh, remind me again the feel of home. Through darkened channels I wander alone, the black bathing drowns swallows me whole, sequenced upon flesh, remind me again the feel of home, tattoo hope upon me like the colors of your soul. The black bathing drown swallows me whole, ghostly caress of tender remembrance, tattoo hope upon me like the colors of your soul, so I can breathe with belief in love's indelible temperance. And poem. Oh, that's <laughs> pretty good. That's good. Yeah. yeah you, although it's not that. true because I didn't, you know, I didn't do the sil- true to the I pantoum, the I didn't do syllables. Put the format on the word for you. Put the but, the <laughs> you like, go, go look at it. But, I mean, it's I still kind of... The Hmm. Yeah, it's pantoon. good. Good. It sounds like a pantoon, though. It does. And so um, maybe, I'm, look at, yeah. I'm double checking on that. Um, but yeah, if you look on the board, you'll see what it. Um, oh, so um, so on the board we have Stephen who said they just went live too. Yeah, he won't be able to call. It's eight to twelve syllables. Eight to twelve syllables. The second and the fourth lines. So right, that's just yeah, so you know. So once you're done, it's perfect for rhyming because when you're done, it sounds really good. It's sh- like it sounds really smooth. I think it's perfect for rhymers, in my opinion. Um, it's kind of hard to because the whole fourth, the second and the fourth lines of the first stanza become the first and the third lines of the next stanza. Yeah, it kind so of like, there's too many to a villain now. Explodes me. I just it's hard for me to focus. So actually, I had to look at some examples of somebody else's because. I didn't quite get it at first, but um, yeah. Then I I kind of got it, but yeah, I had to do a whole bunch of them in a row. Deborah is actually the one that I, I saw do it, and I said oh. I'm gonna try one of those. But uh, after you get the thing the it down, then it's okay. I'll read you a pantoon. Let's see from my list. And I was like, oh, fuck those! I hate those! I'm never doing those. And then I was like, well, well, that wasn't so bad. Got a little got a little thing. into them for a while. Yeah, I went like, through a Pantoon period. Yeah, I just wrote. Yeah, I like the way they sound when you when you're done. Um, yeah, you it has a nice. Mm-hmm. It's because it's structured, you know, oh. and it has the rhymes and it has the syllable cadences too, which help. Mhm. So this one, I read. You might like this one. Uh, I think maybe. So this one is called. Uh, I also like the palindrome. That's my other favorite. But this one's called Pan- um, Phantom's Gaze for Flip Side of Conscious for that picture. Yeah, they did. They get it. Uh, where is the evening filters through to bring the darkness seeping down? The daylight's leave now overdue, high above a slumbering town. To bring the darkness seeping down as the north, and- north wind starts its glowing, high above a slumbering town, nighttime shadows start their showing. As the north wind starts its blowing round and around deserted ways, nighttime shadows start their showing there under eerie phantoms gaze. 
Round and around deserted ways within the blackest, darkest night, there under eerie phantom gaze, misleading by subdued moonlight. Within the blackest, darkest night, the daylight sleeve now overdue, misleading by subdued moonlight, where the evening filters through. And poem. Huh. Wow, that was cool. I like the whole like ambiance of it. You know, have this daylight. It's like you took us through this haunting night, and like, we made it through. You know, like you get, we make it through. It seems like. I don't like know. we're making it through now. Right, <laughs> <laughs> we're making it through. Oh, so, well, I should have made uh, it, but that's all right. I hate when I don't know so, which one to pick. Wait, do we we have someone calling. Let's uh, let me just, let me just let's see what it is. Caller, you're on the air. No, I'm on my couch. <laughs> oh, it's more Recky. Hey, Rec. True, true to potato, but it's the number one. It's my number one calling in to have some mm-hmm. fun. <laughs> Sorry, Rec. Rec on tour, dude. Hey, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Rack, we're so crazy. We just did like a live, like back and forth <laughs> thing. Uh, with me and him, like just back and forth freestyle. Oh lord. That should be interesting. That's pretty daring. Okay. So so Rack, How are you doing tonight? Hi, Rack. They just Turn around number one because it's like number two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, well, you know what? Give us a courtesy flush. Okay. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do it. Don't hang up. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going with you. Let's go down with the ship, man. The the yeah. band goes down with the ship just like the captain. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's going to be. We're just fooling around, Rack, having some, before we were bored, having some fun. Which poem do you want, do you like to read, Rack? Play, I mean. Uh, take your pick. I don't know. I'm all so, over the map. Wait, Adam, you know when you're in the studio, Adam, you can put in, in type in in that search box. Yeah, yeah, Rack. yeah. Okay, and then uh, um, if he doesn't suggest, then I, I should just pick something. Well, you can tell me what you're gonna pick, and I'll grab it from his page. Um, all right. And that's Rack has a recommendation, buddy. I think he said whatever. He said whatever. He said, whatever. Yeah, I'm all over the map. He's all over the map. Working. I mean, get over to his face. Well, um, we, we, we need a compass, Rex, so I'm glad you called, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm going to... I'm my ass already. Uh, I see one. It just it catches my eye, and I'm hoping... So, Boo, find... Rose colored. Oh, that's a good one. Rose colored glasses, okay. Well, it could be rose colored fantasy. I think that's the one. Oh, uh, I think it's rose. Okay, just put rose. I'll put rose. Okay, so we got rose colored fantasy. Yeah, that's it. You drop it. I'm grabbing it right now. Share copy. I'm surprised Raz isn't here. That's weird. Maybe he's asleep. He usually takes a nap. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna... And here's, here's Racky Sloan. All right. Rose-Colored Fantasy by Raconteur. Would you believe me if I told you that I saw your face in a dream? But when I reached out, to brush a hair from your cheek you pixelated just like a corrupt video stream ravenous lips the color of desire your eyes reluctant witness to life's pain while burn tresses to wrap around my fist a chassis that begs to be ridden without shame just a fantasy tinged in the scarlet blush of your porcelain skin, encouraging me not to open my eyes, that I might be consumed by the amber flame therein. So incredibly beautiful, so far beyond my reach, crying crimson tears 
stripped of the power of speech. When you close your eyes, what do you see? Cinnamon coat the lie and say that it's me. End poem. Oh. Rose colored. Wow, man. Wow. So, this poem was so sensual and, and I use this word a lot, reverent of the other um, party, you know, being spoken of. You know, you're just holding them up in this fantasy so pristinely erotic. And, you know, you're really, I mean, into it. And and then it kind of has that twist of heartbreak, which is also, though, like, spare me. You know, like, you're telling me, like, spare me the truth. Let's just stay in this fantasy. And and hence, you know, the, the rose-colored, the ro- you know, rose-colored glass. I mean, it's a beautiful thing to see the world through rose-colored glasses, but it also is quite naive sometimes. And... But it's, I think it's beautiful still, and what a wonderful write and read, man. That read was, that read was luscious, luscious. He's right? a great eater. He's so a great eater. Yeah, that's just him. yeah. I mean, well, first of all, how many how many times are we wearing the rose colored glasses and we overlook all the things that are important, right? The things that are like a big deal later. Um. So. Oh, and I agree. He's an awesome uh, writer. And then where he says, um, like, he's like, I don't hope that you'll see me. I think he said, or pray that you'll see me. I'm going to go over there right now. Um, you want so bad for that person to see you. and Or just, just you know, not even, even if they don't, just so fast can say it. You know what I mean? Just, like, humor me. Because that's better than where I'm at at the moment. I take something better than nothing. And I, I've been there before, too, um, where just anything is, is better. You'll take any piece of that person. I think um, not a best place to be, but um, and then yeah. um, like would say, um, would you believe if I told you that I saw your face in a dream? Um, ravenous lips, the color of desire. Your eyes be lucky. So yeah, he's in the fantasy. He's all in. He sees it. He's down. But um, yeah. I guess he's already that chassis, baby. probably left. Come and tell the lie and say that it's me. He doesn't even care if she lies. He doesn't even care. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, that's what I was saying. He just lie to me, baby. Yeah. Just tell me. I'm yeah. the one. <laughs> yeah. Willing to accept that because I want you that bad. That's that's a, a good and a bad well, place to me, but I don't right. and how <laughs> And how often is that the case? You know, it's such a commonality of like, I know – you know, he's thinking of another woman, or I know she's thinking of another. You know, people do that sometimes. They mm-hmm. imagine someone else with the person they're with. Yeah, that's the worst. Oh my God, I've done that I've, too. That's <laughs> a bit rough. <laughs> she's like, I, I've done that too. Is that you said? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Who true. Has? Like it's you human know. Nature. <laughs> I mean, it's like you know, and or you're just or you're comparing them with everybody with the one person that you really love, and nobody's going to really measure up. And you know it, but shit, I've done the worst. I've done like the worst thing that guys hate more than anything in, on the planet. I've actually cried during sex. That's the worst. But I couldn't help it. That the whole thing is so thinking about someone else. I shouldn't have been there in the first place. But uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna feel good. Uh, that didn't work. What do you What do you think, Brad? Huh? You... Oh, did I hurt you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not in a good way either. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of like, that, then, how about um, you read something really heartbreaking, Adam? Oh my God! Oh my God! Him. All right, we'll do some heartbreaking. I don't know. It's <laughs> kind of yeah. It's like when is it not like <laughs> kind of like most of the rights well, lately? Like, um, I kind of want to. I liked I've I liked Rack I liked the the kind of tone though we set with Rack you know his Okay his sensualness and Where are you gonna go? just beyond the idea mm-hmm. of it. I think I'm just gonna mm-hmm. go with this uh shoot, I'm trying to Okay, this is kind of this is I'm gonna go with this. If someone I live in Hillbillyville, someone's riding a lawnmower at night apparently because they don't have a car. <laughs> 
headphones on tractors. That's a new that's a new country song. <laughs> I ride my tractor at night. <laughs> that, that, that's why they that's why they put headlights on them, you know, so you could ride it at night. Hey, that's hot. Is that is that like slang for her? Is that slang for her glasses? Wait a minute. Hello. Wait, I was just I was joking. <laughs> All right, this is oh my god, you would you would think I was on the freeway or something like I'm hanging out by the you side of. Start, Adam? All is right, anybody so, in the studio? Can you start, Adam? Oh shoot, maybe. No, 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 no one's there. Okay, Not yet. So let me. Where was I? Okay, here we go. Um, this is actually not so. This is there's a touch of melancholy to this, but it's not. It's more actually a, sensual and down the same tone, just in a different way. So this is called "Smoking Ghostly Notes." Chain smoking a chorus of notes, breathing in her sweet sensual melody. She moves through me. She's the lyric and the meaning, the curves mm-hmm. and the purpose. The depth and the surface. She sways in hanging tones and rivets of whispered moans, rippling, then erupting from under my skin. Exhale. I take a quick inhale. Catch her plume of ethereal magic colliding within. She's hypnotic, always been. I lie mesmerized in a paradoxical curse or hex, welcomed in this death. And under the spell I resurrect, Grays are now melting, giving way to deeper shades. Swirl in her drowning nectar, sticky honey, thick and sweet, clings to my innermost beast. Bedazzled, bewitched, betwixt every curve, feeling the specter she washes over me as soft, caressing waves. Whirls as hot tempest force, we ablaze. Carrying away the weary heaviness of my every begrudged day, A soothing siren singing sweetly in my ear, holding me close. As our music perspires mouth to breathy hot mouth, deeply we plunge into one another, tasting the salt of our souls. The scent licked across every silk-lashing touch, the rush, the blush. Our painted colors bleed into each other through erotic aroma unchained in chains, ghostly aura. End poem. (laughs) Dang. You're in a mood. (laughs) Yeah, he yeah, is in the mood today. That's really good. And ghostly. Okay, interesting. Okay, Blade's going to call in 10 minutes. I'm going to upload her SoundCloud in a minute, but uh, let me go All back. Right. Did, you awesome. the, did you put yours on the board? Awesome, Blade. Adam? What's that? Did you put yours on the board? Your oh, no, I didn't I didn't, oh, I didn't. put it on the board. Oh, okay. I'll, All right, so it. I'm just going to go. That's okay. I didn't see it anyway. <laughs> He didn't. Um, he didn't see it. I didn't do it. It's a wash. Okay. <laughs> it's a wash. I don't know. I could tell it's probably not as good. I I, I thought it was um, sensual, of course. Obviously, I'd like to see it. Oh, thank God. Okay, here we go. Because <laughs> I suck oh. my memory. Shane smoking a chorus of notes, breathing in her sweet sensual melody. I love the opening there. I love the musical reference always. Um. She's the lyric, and he's the meaning. Um, that's really cool. That's the, you know, shit. We always want somebody to complete our song. We're always looking for somebody to complete uh. the song. Um, I think colliding. She was says she's hypnotic, mem- mesmerized, paradoxical curse or a hex. I guess it depends on the mood for that one, huh? Sticky honey, thick and sweet, clings to what does it say? Clings to innermost beast. First of all, Adam, I already know you're a freak, so <laughs> I say let the, let the freak fly and hang because you do it so well, and you don't even care. You're just all out there, balls to the wall, like, yeah, I'm a freak. I'm going to take that shit, and ah, I'm a fan of that myself. I'm not saying all, all women are, but, and then as the music perspires, mouth, aggressive, hot mouth, deeply plunge into one another, like, this is hot, sexy, erotic sounds like a good time and uh, oh I like be dazzled bewitched betwixt uh, great alliteration and yeah all of those positions sound fun to me so um, <laughs> and then the end unchained and a changed ghastly aura ghostly aura it's like almost forbidden but not quite 
and oh, and then and then you, the scent licked across every silk last lasting touch, the rush, the blush, and painted colors. Wow, yeah. And she's leaving Bree. Uh, she's leaving Linton. She's leaving painted red. <laughs> she's leaving <laughs> satisfied, honey. She's leaving satisfied, honey. There you go. <laughs> Racky poo. Yeah, she she ain't leaving. He's the one walking out, going to work tomorrow. It's like you know, I'll see you when I get home. Yeah, she's, she's, she's gonna like, be no, laying, I can't take another she's gonna be laying there in a the puddle because she can't. Move. Yeah, she's like, no, don't do it. I can't take another round. Yeah, you know, you don't have a problem with your sexuality at all, which I think is good because a lot of guys, they do. They don't want to write stuff like so they have a hard time expressing themselves, or romantic, whatever. But you don't, and that, that to me, makes the poetry better. And, and you're, like, Lady A told me the day after the show, he's, he's so open, like, he's just so out there. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, you know, isn't he cool? And she's like, yeah, you know, I'm not used to seeing him. He's pretty young, too. I mean, but she considers young, which you are young, 37 young. I'm very young. And, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I can go to home with Lady A, sorry. But, um. Yeah, so that's a good thing, I think. Um I'm at a I'm I'm at a wonderful age that I can date the spectrum and f- I feel like that's okay. <laughs> I'm right in the mix. Yeah, you can be over eighteen. <laughs> yeah, I could do, I could I'm a tr- you know, it's, it works. You know what? I, I had this deep I've always been like girl crazy. And I mean that in like the positive mm-hmm. essence of it. Like I've always been super attracted to women. And, you know, and I've always felt like I, I appreciate them, all of them. Like, I have no one type. I like I like all different personality types. I like all type of – I would be with an Amazon. I'm a short dude. I would, she could be 6'9 and play for the, you know, uh, the, the Phoenix Mercury. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She could be – you know, I don't care. You know, crush me between them thighs, baby. <laughs> How tall are you? If I get a mixed fish, that's going to be mine. What did you say? What, <laughs> Rack? I said, I, I said, you know, if I get make a wish, then, then that's that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I, I want to uh, nine Amazon crush me with a tie. There you go, six nine. Well, Rack, Rack six feet, so that you know that's pretty good, right there. Well, it doesn't matter really when you're horizontal, does it? I don't think. Yeah. Um, um, well, I've I've been with up. a chick that was a lot shorter than me, and like for sixty nine, like, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the certain positions, there's a different inadequacies that can <laughs> form. And could you imagine if I was holding her up by her, you know, like holding her up uh-huh. and like her her, you know, by the <laughs> butt while you know, she's, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. my she, I would be her, I would be her spinner <laughs> man. I would be the spinner. Yeah. <laughs> you play like it. You, know, you, know, you know what a 77 is, Adam? No, what is it? <laughs> it's like a 69, but you get eight more. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Which, which is the biggest level. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, but isn't it true? Don't guys like petite girls? That's what I seem to think. I think I don't know, it's everybody has different um taste inclination you know the things they like i know i like as i'm expressing i like them all she could be mm-hmm. any shade you look any any dressing type. Woman lover. Mm-hmm. i'm an any would you call it any opportunity <laughs> you're an equal opportunity what? player so. <laughs> yeah. you no know, well you know what turns me off is like personality so once i see like something that's ugly in a personality, I don't necessarily. I mean, I don't care if she's. I don't care who what she looks like. Some personalities are that ugly, though they're beautiful people. You watch how they treat the a man or You one. watch how they treat the waitress. You're gonna see a lot. You know, that's just my opinion. How much they tip and how much they treat the waitress. Oh, it's uh, a it's so a guarantee. Yeah. You know, female waitresses and attractive waitresses make way more money. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah. what you said? You're talking about waitresses? Yeah. No, I'm watching him go out with a guy, how he tips, how he treats the waitress. Does he snap his fingers? Is he rude to her? Oh, yeah, you know, he, yeah. You definitely tip your waitresses, her. people. You know, that's that's a hard mm-hmm. job right there. My mom taught me that when I was a young young boy. I remember she dropped a 50 mm-hmm. on a waitress once. I was like, yeah. she, you know, she always taught it's me over tip. You always over tip. You always over tip. 
what people yeah. consider and the standard too. The defense when he pretended to be really good, you know. And then you know, just like they say, how he treats his mama is how he's probably gonna treat you. Not always, right. but it tells a lot, in my opinion. Uh, so I was going to get. Oh God, if I could find it, Lord. Um, oh, I've been neglecting the studio. No one's here though, but you and Rack still cool. Let's. Are you gonna read now? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna get like it. Shit, man, I'm trying to find. God, there's so much crap in here. Um, are you on your desktop? Yeah, yeah. No, huh? Oh, you are. What do you okay. want me? Yeah. In the. Okay, I think. Um. Oh, okay. I think I got it. Finally, it takes forever to get it on the phone. Okay, I think I might be able to get it. Anyway, um, maybe we could talk about the shows this weekend real quick. <laughs> your show Friday and. All right, all right. So this Friday at 9, Raz, the liquidator, with me, Adam. <laughs> and we're going to go through the anything we've missed. <laughs> we're going to go through anything we've mixed, uh, missed. And it'll be a nice mix of the, you know, madness and touched with straight-laced in your face. Come check it out this Friday. Which one is getting late? <laughs> Which one's not getting late? Wait. Whoa. Rack always <laughs> talking about getting late again. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I said, you said straight laced. I said, which one is wearing the lace? <laughs> <laughs> it depends who's, who's gonna, what role they're playing. <laughs> hey, right. if Raz yeah. wants to collab, I'm down. We just need a we just need a cream for the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and then we talk okay. about Saturday. Uh, okay, and then Saturday. Saturday, Saturday we got Lizzie, the wonderful, luscious Lizzie. No, Saturday's for Sawa. Sawa. Oh, sa- oh, am I on Sunday? Oh, I clicked Sunday. Well, s- well Saturday is Sawa's show. You know, it's going to be Boo and Raz, I, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to celebrate mm-hmm. our dear friend, uh, Sawa. She's abroad right now and not been able to call or um, participate <laughs> as much as she wants to. She's abroad. She's abroad. I, I know. I, I'm abroad, saying that because... Right? Because she's not, <laughs> she's a wonderful lady. Let me tell you. She's a good one. Forget about it. <laughs> and we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate our dear friend uh, on AP. She's known as I Love Poems. Check out, you know, her work. It's we lately we call her the, you know, Boop in particular calls her the Queen of Brevity. She loves, you know, she okay. she's multilingual. She's a linguistic mastermind. She can. So it's a, she's a wonderful writer, deep and thoughtful. So come check that out yeah, Saturday. Nice. And then Sunday, 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 the luscious Lizzie and Boo. <laughs> boo, 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 you and Lizzie, come uh, check it out. This is going to be uh, open poetry. So, you know, come drop your poem, you know, Please. just call in and anything Nothing's off limits usually. That's the way we roll. So come hang out, yeah. have some fun, read your poetry. Stock up the pen <laughs> bring, the, you say that? bring the penicillin. <laughs> Stock up on the penicillin. Stock up <laughs> on the penicillin. <laughs> yeah, because get thirty, it gets thirty. It's true. It's true. The last show was like. Well, Everything that like you're told not to talk about, pretty much, we talked about. <laughs> no wonder that show's got good ratings. Uh, it seems like every time it's taboo, that's when uh, something goes down. Trying to Tab- find, it won't let me. Taboo. The word taboo used to be taboo. Now it's in vogue. Yeah, you okay, I think Rack would so. actually have fun doing what we were doing at the beginning of this uh, broadcast. I think he would actually enjoy doing that with us. And I bet you he would yeah, whoop us. He would whoop us into shape and on he, that. That's how, um, like, we've done a couple of our collabs because, cause, you know, he can't see very well. So we just have, like, a conversation, and that just comes out like that, you know? So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. And I like it like that because it's something different, just chit-chat. Okay, he walks in, now she does this, and she does that. Okay, where's he going to go? 
blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to get him uh, to write one with me for Sawa. I'm trying to convince him. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm going to get him there eventually. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's have uh, an imaginary swing Gibson. party with <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just Sorry. talk until he gives in. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for this. Jesus what, what was that called in the 70s? Uh, key party? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right. He said, oh, God. <laughs> I'm, can I have more than one? Is this like M&M's? Do I just, just one key? <laughs> really? Come on. Please. You're going to have to bring it back then. You know, you can't wait, drive two wait, cars. This, oh. this one has two keys on it. Do I get – is there two? Is this the front door? Is it the caboose and the – which one in the okay. <laughs> is the one to the um, trunk? <laughs> could you do me a favor, Adam? Could you go to yes. Oh never mind. I'll go okay, here's the I'm gonna play it and then I'll go to the poem. Beads of pleasure. Beads of sweat trickle down the nuke of a neck, glistening on soft curves of static skin, hot with electric pulse and gliding fingertips. Beads of pearls wrapped around her wrists, glimmering dancing reflections from burning flickers of candlelight. Beads of wax strip down her arched spine, glinting as quivering hips sway, writhing in the gentle shock of pleasurable pain. Diving into trenches of pleasure in her intoxicating salty skin, where sweet treasure lies, confined inside the pouting shell, glowing through refractive moonlight. My lips trace from her nail navel, sailing along hip bone sulky swell, as pointing toes curl and wave through each breaking point, under firm strokes to the nocturne's crescendo. I figured we're on the sex Ooh. side, so there you go. <laughs> oh, boy, you know what? Uh, and I was actually going to ask you this. I was going to ask you if, if Rob would mind if you played one from him, so I'm glad you did. And, man, no, I, yes, Rob, that you brought the heat, and uh, uh, bravo. That, that And it actually, at first I thought, oh, I'm in, I'm in, for, I'm in for sensuality and, uh, you know, romantic Rob. And then I hear... Beads of wax and arc spine. I said, "Oh boy, here we go, arc spine." I've seen that arc. I've seen that arc, and I was immediately there and saw it. And then he, and then that's when, you know, he starts getting the the tempo building. He was building, and I, I caught it then. Like I was like, so he was building it up and building it up. And then when his the kisses sail, hips and thighs, I was like, "Oh my god." He's killing no, it. No, I tried you know, to find another, this other one that's like, whoa, I'm looking for that one. That's the one I was looking for, but I I didn't want to waste any more time. But, uh, maybe I'll get to that one later. But, but, but yeah, that, that's, this was that's uh, th- this was Rob. Way to go, man. That and it was just it had the uh, just above sense. It was it was man. It's cla- I don't know want to say classy because it seems like a word that almost like puts down the the more erotic. But it was like sen- it was. A, if there was like a register, he maintained a poise about him doing it. It was it never got dirty, I guess, or filthy, but yet it invoked ideas of the the filth and the the you know. Well, it, I guess it wouldn't be considered filth. It was just eroticism, and it was it was beautifully written. Rec, what did you, what did you think of Rob's piece there? <laughs> Pun intended. Um, I, I've never seen Rob. <laughs> It's I've never intended. seen Rob's piece. I've never touched his Rob, Rob's piece, um, but his words were beautiful. Um, he was very sensual. Um, you know, he 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 he's got you know that that way about him. Uh, he he definitely can paint a beautiful picture, and you know, and and, and like you said, in, in in a classy way. You know, um, that that there's there's um, you know, class and crass. You know, he he um, definitely. Um, was was uh, very um, deliberate with his word choices, and, and he evoked a, a feeling that was easy to um, get carried away with. You know, the, the beads of pleasure. Um, it, it was lovely. 
I I agree wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. And, hold. and and we have a caller. Who is it? Blade. All right. Hello. Blade. Blade. Oh. Hi, Blade. How's it going? There she How's is. Going? Beautiful. You happen to hear the public? <laughs> I did not hear it, but I read through it real quick. Yeah, that I, I that's one that I'm gonna go back and listen to the SoundCloud on. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely do, Blade, because I think you would appreciate his reading tempo when he gets to the arc of spine. From there, he oh, carries he further in intensity. Oh, it's <laughs> He 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 did it well, you know how you. Because I know Blade, you are such a you have such an ability to read and understand the tempo and timing of and to invoke the proper emotion and feel of a poem. So I think you would appreciate that in that read for sure. Check it out later for sure. So I'm gonna have, have, considering I was just rehearsing one and I made myself cry. Oh, oh. Is that what you're gonna do to us tonight? Don't, don't make me cry, do well, I, I sent a message to Boo. It's it's almost twelve minutes long, so I don't want to push you guys through that unless you actually want me to. Are you oh, on SoundCloud, right? SoundCloud? It's a SoundCloud, right? What? It's a SoundCloud. Um, no, that that's a different one. Like I sent you the one with the SoundCloud, and then I wanted to see how long the, my Letters to Heaven collection is. Because uh-huh. I wanted to like recite it for you guys for a long time, but I didn't know how long it was. So oh, I just okay. timed so it. It's like eleven minutes and forty five seconds. Well if Boo okay, says it's do. cool, that's I'm cool. Rack already that's said he that's wants that's to hear it. So yeah, that's I yeah. think we're all good. So I think we all wanna we we're, we're definitely around. Yeah. You found the right forum. I already have your other one I already have your other one like um already converted and uploaded for next time, so be prepared. Yeah, for that's, that's, that's what I was thinking. That's the only thing. <laughs> that's okay. And we're going to get it live? Yeah, like, you're going to read it live to us, Blade? Yeah. Oh, my okay. God. Okay. I, I, and this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Should I put the link up? Or are you still yeah. commenting on Rob? You can, put the, you can put the link up. Yeah, no, that's cool. Oh, oh I was going to say about Rob, the notes self, get me some pearls ASAP. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, shit, tie me up, down, around, whatever. I mean, I'm there. <laughs> I just thought it was, like you said, real classy, the accent helps. And, um, yeah, it's almost torture for me, actually. So, uh, oh, I can I'm sure you can only imagine. I'm sure you've got at least a pearl necklace in your future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew up. that was uh, it's filling the blank. It's hard for me to because I just get too worked up. But anyway, <laughs> good job. Here. Okay. Shutting up. All right, Blade, uh posted it on the board. Anytime when you're ready. All right. I tend to yawn while I'm reading for this long, so just pretend like you, that's not happening. You yawn? I like I have um trouble regulating my breathing apparently. Oh, okay. It's part okay. of a chronic illness that I have, so I end up yawning while I'm singing or reading for a while. Okay. But yeah. Dare you. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Letters to Heaven. A collection of prose. February fifth, two thousand nineteen. My son, I'm sorry I haven't written till now. There are things I wish I had told you, things I wish I had thought to reminisce before this terrible day. I remember how my fingers shook as I buttoned up my shirt, plaid patterns dancing in my vision. I didn't own a suit, but still I wanted to impress. I might not get another chance. I sighed filling my breast within my bones before looking in the mirror. Scowled, attempting to fix the cowlicks in my hair before giving up. They'd never been obedient to my desires. I swallowed, grabbed the poster board and bouquet from my bed, and headed out. Your mother only lived a few houses down, cookie-cutter houses with dark blue doors. It was raining, 
and I worried the ink would run as I tried to outrun the thunder, threw pebbles at her window till it opened. Prom? The sign asked, held above my head like a trophy. She cocked her head, a small smile on her lips as she shut the window and disappeared behind pink flower curtains. I waited, 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 waited for something, anything. It felt like forever. Finally, the front door opened and she came walking out. The sky cried out, casting us in the glow of its lightning as if I thought you'd never ask, she said. And just like that, I had a date to prom. She looked like an angel, as cliche as that sounds, and we danced the night away. I remember how she took off her shoes after the last song, walking barefoot across the parking lot despite my pleas. I finally hoisted her up over my shoulder and carried her to the car. She laughed, the sound hanging in the air like dewdrops frozen in time. I returned her home just before one, and we softly kissed on her front porch under the light of the moon. I remember how my hands shook as I knocked on that dark blue door a few years later. She was away at college, set to graduate in a few months. Her mother answered, welcoming me, me in with open arms and an open heart. She offered me lemonade, just like she always did. I spoke with her parents, showed them the ring I'd picked out the week before. I remember how my breath shook as she looked out across the canyon. It's beautiful, she whispered, and I could hear the awe in her voice. I know, I responded, having only eyes for her as I pulled the box from my pocket and got down on one knee. I don't remember what I said. Some spiel about making me the happiest man on earth or some overuse, other overused platitude. All I know is it made her cry as she, clung, as she clung to my chest and nodded. I thought you'd never ask, she said. I remember how my body shook as I put on the first suit I ever owned. We'd planned the wedding in a year. Her father's health failing. We wanted him to be able to walk her down the aisle. His steps faltered. But his smile never faded. You're named after him, you know. James Nathaniel Roberts. Love, Daddy. October 7th, 2019. My boy, please excuse my tears. I know this stained the page on which I write, but I need you to know these things. I remember how my arms shook as they placed you in my arms, eyes watering as I muttered hello. You were perfect. Ten fingers and toes, two blue-gray eyes, and a cute little nose. I remember telling you how to fight the world for you. I promised to protect you for always, not knowing what the future held. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. I never could have predicted this. When the doctor told us there were tumors on your brain, I thought he was lying. He, he had to be lying. I remember how he shaved your head when your hair started to fall out. You were still upbeat about it, but I had to try not to cry. We were both together, you and I. It was us against the world, fighting off the sickness like we were professionals, but really, we had no idea what we were doing. There's no troubleshooting clause for cancer. At five, you were my hero. When things got bad, you'd snuggle up into my arms and whimper, and I told you it was okay to cry. No, Daddy, you sniffed, shaking your head. Superheroes don't cry. Most nights, my pillows were wet with my tears. I've never felt such emptiness as the day you died. My soul ripped out of me as I clung to you and cried. I don't remember much of the hours after. We were numb, 
not knowing what to do or how to feel. Everything was a blur as time passed around your mother and I. I remember how my fingers shook as I buttoned up your suit, dressing you for the last time. Little kids should wear tuxedos to weddings, I thought, not funerals. I couldn't see clearly, messing up the buttons twice before I got it right. We buried you with your favorite stuffed dinosaur in a cape. I hope it helped you fly. I think of you when I see butterflies. Sorry, that's out of context, but I wanted you to know. They say butterflies are messengers from heaven. I used to roll my eyes at that, but now they show up when I'm missing you the most. Love, Daddy. Pia, you're going to be a big brother. April 3rd, 2020. James, your sister will be here soon. Her due date two years to the day since we lost you. Please watch over her. Keep her safe, just like a big brother should. God, I miss you. My heart still aches for your presence. We sold the house. Don't worry, we kept the door panel where we measured how tall you were growing and the door door with your handprint. I remember how you helped us paint your room, laughing as you stuck your bare butt in the wet paint and dotted the wall with your bottom. After a bath, you repeated the process with your hands, smearing light blue paint across your cheeks like war stripes. We all dipped our hands in liquid sky and pressed them to the door. We said we were artists. I agreed. I remember how you insisted on wearing a cape with your tux when your aunt got married. You were four said you were Superman in disguise and you needed to be ready to fly off at a moment's notice. It was kind of adorable. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise to you. We were going to go to the zoo, but you started getting dizzy, falling down. You said everything hurt. The doctor said you were just going through a growth spurt. When we woke up, the morning of our trip, you could no longer walk from the pain. We rushed you to the hospital, still in our plaid pajamas, unsure of what was happening. The cancer was aggressive. Less than two months from the time we found out to the day we said goodbye. We never got to go to the zoo, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. I'm sorry I'll never see you go to prom. I'm sorry I'll never meet your first girlfriend. I'm sorry I'll never know you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I hope you're getting these. Somehow. Love, Daddy. June 4th. 2024. My son, I'm sorry I haven't written in so long. There have been extenuating circumstances that kept me from writing. Jane was born on her due date. It's her fourth birthday tomorrow. She loves to play dress up, just like you did, only instead of superheroes and firefighters, it's princesses and mermaids. Your grandmother is always buying her new dresses. My hands shake when I get dressed now. The cancer is spreading. I need you to lend me some of that courage you always showed. The treatment isn't working. I hope you can read my handwriting. I know it's nearly illegible. I was, I was, I was, I was so angry when they told me it's not fair has never been fair. On the plus side, I'll be seeing you soon. I love you. Love. And peace. 
Well, <clears throat> Blade, this was profoundly open, honest. It was so deep and moving throughout um, three beautiful stages that full of the horrors and reality of what life can bring us. The window shown into the lives filled with life. You know, the, the comedy, whimsy, love, the deepness of moments that sometimes we find so trivial until we realize we may never have them, until we know that we'll never have them again, suddenly, you know, rise and fall into this deep, deep thing that isn't was never trivial at all, and you realize it, it was the biggest things, and mm. besides just the person's life. And to say just a person's life, I mean, I'm, my words are faltering because it's just, I mean, there was tears, I was gasping, I, you know, streams down my face nonstop, you know, and little smiles when I shared and the feelings of the person with the funny things and the sweet things and, and the tragedy mm-hmm. when it's lost. But the story told here was so moving and beautiful. Uh, thank you, Blade, and thank you for always being honest and open and sharing your beautiful and unique work with us. Thank you. Thank you guys for providing a platform for all of us to share. Of course, that's what we do because this kind of this work needs to be heard. It needs to be shared, and it needs to be seen. Um. Rack, what what did what did you think of Slade's piece here? Oh sure, say so it needs to be seen and then call on the blind guy. <laughs> I mean foot and mouth I, 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 I have I, that disease. Shut up, shut up. I'm being a smart ass, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> I, it, 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 it it was one of those things, you know, um and again I, I, I needed to kinda break the uh the somber moment um you know it, it it's very relatable i i mean i could easily have have felt you know a lot of a lot of what you were talking about um and 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 almost went through it with you as as you you know went uh as you read it um i i i, I kind of want to say um a little bit you know there were times when i forgot you know um you were reading for a guy it was almost you know uh, I, I wanted it to be a woman because of your voice, but um, you know, <laughs> you, you, emotion kind of over, overcame that m- more often than not. So um, it read well; it really did. Um, I, I, I mean, the, the whole situation of uh, losing a child is, is, is just heart wrenching to begin with. So you know, the topic, <laughs> it, it, the deck stacked against us from the beginning. It, it, you know, there's, there's going to be waterworks. You know, it's going to be deep and emotional, and you know. Um, putting it in, in the form of letters, you know, it, it's it's a great idea um, for, for you know anyone that that that's involved that 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 has that kind of a, a relationship with someone, even if they're still alive and they're just someone they're not going to talk to and they're never going to give them the letters, you know, the idea of putting stuff down on paper has always been something that I could relate to as well. So um, writing a letter to to um, a child that you lost, it, 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 it's a beautiful thought and it's a, it's a good way to get it get your feelings out. And, and kind of make them more tangible, putting them on paper. Um, it, it was just very relatable and very beautiful, um, you know, just despite the sadness of it all. Um, you know, despite the sadness, I, I say, because there was a lot of um, love in it, and, and, and that, that undercut it. it. It's like, you know, if you if I think in terms of food a lot, and if it were, if it were like a recipe, it was, you know, you're cutting the, the sour – you know, you're balancing it. It, it. It's very well balanced when it comes to it. Comes together. You know, um, it added to the emotion, but, you know, in, in a different way. It, it didn't drag it down. So I, I thought it was beautiful. Thank you. Is that a true story, Blaine? Uh, no, it was for a contest on Discord where the prompt was formal wear. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Formal wear. 
she just you blew that one out of the water. Jesus, I never would have thought to go there. Holy moly. I would have thought that was um honestly real. I mean, I was like, Whoa, I was moved the form the read was incredible, but you get all the little things that parents get, maybe because you're a mother too, so you got all the little details that he wore a cape with his suit, um, that he was only four years old, where he put his where you put so he could grow, where he put your his fingers and you could see how he's growing taller, all those little things there and all those little things that you miss about your child. I can't even imagine losing your child, even though mine's getting on my nerves at the moment, but I could never uh, imagine that pain and suffering. And I liked how you did it in stages, too. I, too, got, forgot there was for it was a man um, speaking, but that didn't even matter to me. Um, and the way you broke it down, and it didn't seem like 12 minutes to me. I was, I was hanging on to every word, everything you said, and I was hoping for a happy ending, but obviously that doesn't happen when you go through something like this. Grief lasts. I can't even, you never get over it. You never will. Um, did you win, I hope? Did you win? Because you should have. I think I did, if I remember correctly. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, shit, nobody reads like you do. I mean, you know when you're coming up, you're just going to be entertained. It's going to be good. It's going to be poetic. And your emotions every time blow me away, every time. Um, I don't think there's a better, like, female reader really on here. Um, I wish I read that good, even close to that good. I rush too much, apparently. But um, I thought it was really good. <laughs> I'll give you less than and- <laughs> yeah, I just need to slow down, apparently, everyone tells me, but um, I'm working on it. But, yeah, it was just a moving and hard-hitting. It just hit me in my heart, the thing. I mean, I think any mother who lost a child or a father would be proud of that read and that emotion. And, uh, yeah, I tears in my eyes. And I rarely cry when somebody um, reads something because I see it all the time. I'm a hard-ass, maybe, but I just, yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Didn't feel 12 minutes at all. I wanted you to keep going, but I was hoping for a turnaround. <laughs> But yeah, that was incredible. When you stick around, you could read another one, um, since it's just yeah. us. Um, yeah, I was hoping Silky was going to come by, but uh, he's stuck playing a game, I think. So we're just we're bored, so we just thought, why not? And we're giving Adam practice. Oh, and good. you're doing good, Adam, too, by the way. <laughs> oh, a lot more well, thank comfortable. You. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think yeah. I was telling Rad. I think that Radam now he knows what what it takes. Like you were saying the other day, you know what it takes. You know how much shit you have to do behind the scenes. You know when to be quiet. You <laughs> said stuff. <laughs> so you well, know now, and I think that's true <laughs> in how you how you're it, doing it, it. Thank you. I I appreciate that, and yeah. I'm I'm still uh, plodding along. Uh, you know, plodding along with it. You know, but I love it. Thank you, Boo, for you know giving us all this platform to be with each other in a way to share familiarity and depth and uh, art, you know, like Blade was thankful that she, you know, she was so worried and what an awesome, you know, opportunity that probably made her feel good that she got to read her long piece, you know, cause that's not always available to us when we have these mega pieces and, and it's so well worth it, you know, just to have that patience to allow somebody the floor, and I, it's wonderful, you know. It, and you know, like and like Rack said, these, you know, it's relatable. You know, Blade's piece is so relatable, and because we all, you know, can understand and feel these things, and we 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 see each other in this, you know. It's it's an art form that we all share, and um, even listeners, if you don't write like. Rack was in pond, like kind of saying, you know, it's cathartic. Just write, write, mm-hmm. write it out. You can get out, even if you're never gonna. They might, be, you know, they don't have to be dead. They could be alive. You could, yeah, it's therapeutic. It's a technique used in therapy to write a letter and then, you know, burn it or rip it up. There's different yeah. things that are done. Um, it's it's re- it's the release and some symbolic and you know that's what we're all here to do with each other. There, there's mm-hmm. something about letters, whether you're writing them or receiving them, that is just so cathartic and nostalgic and meaningful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they seem to a lot in therapy too. Like write something and cut it, you know, cut it up or just burn it or something. And I, yeah. I just want to comment real quick um, because you did mention the length. And normally we put like a three-minute cap on things, but since we don't have a topic board full of 18 rights, 
um, we can we can indulge <laughs> someone with with a big piece like that because you know we've said no to performance pieces before that you know people have done with great production value and and, I mean, and I they've feel got guilty doing that you know. But yeah, but other people yeah, complain. Well, yeah, really. but it, like, it, it's all about you know, no, no, don't feel it, it's all about the circumstances, and that's why I felt yeah, like I needed to speak up because you know, it, right. it, 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 we don't we don't have like fifteen leftovers from a show that we did the other day that never got read, read. and we don't we don't have any any you know disasters or anything. We we have the luxury of being able to say you know, go ahead, read read your twelve minute piece, um, you know. <laughs> We've got time to listen and, and, you know, indulge that kind of um, – and I, I won't call it frivolity because it's definitely not frivolous. It, 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 it's, it's, it's both for us and for you because, you know, you get to get it out of your system and read it, and, and we get to enjoy it at the same time and appreciate it, you know. So, you know, it, 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 it's, 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 a, it's a circumstances kind of thing, and, and it doesn't always tr- come, come up that, that, we can, and, that we can do something like that. But, you know, when we can, we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Mac. Thanks for the clarification <laughs> on that for sure, because that is true. You know, that is true. We, often there's 15 plus rights, and and that's not. It doesn't seem like a lot, but you know, it it it, it can I don't take up the whole. Because we didn't read it, you know, like just leave, um, because we couldn't read it. And, and... A, a, a big part of it is, you know, after someone reads it, it's going to take up, you know, the, the t- time on the clock, which isn't the bad thing. It, it, it's, you know, well, now that you've read it, you want people to comment on it. And if we've right. only got a couple of people, there's not that much time to comment, you know, uh, or if there's a yeah. lot of people, then, then you know, it, it becomes a, a balancing act. And, and it's really frustrating scheduling-wise because it's like, you know, okay, um, you know, she, she read this piece, but we only have time now for, like, one person to comment. That's not fair. You know, mm-hmm. obviously, you know, we, we, we enjoy when people, um, if they like what they hear, they go back and they, give, they leave written, written responses on the pieces, um, you know, and uh, as a courtesy, if it's, if it's read on the air and, and you do catch the show, you know, I, I, think, I think it is, you know, a, a polite thing to do if, if, you, if you can go to the piece and leave a written comment. I, I used to be able to do that, but unfortunately my eyes have um, – have uh, failed me, so I, I I can't leave you a written comment like I would love to. But um, you know, I, I, no, normally on, on the shows that I'm on, you know, if, if you if I was on a show oh, that no, you were on, he's very big on that. Everybody commenting, comments on everybody. I'll help you back. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and you know, and there's also you know people that um, we all want feedback. You know, we all want to hear you know a word or two on, on our things and uh, work, but you know, I think uh, like be fair to everybody else because some people, some people never comment. I'm not saying you got to comment on everything because you know I'm I'm guilty too. I I don't get around it and I should, cause, you know. But then I also do like eight shows a week, so I get behind. But uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's fair to that's you know, leave yeah. something. And you know, like it trips me out because sometimes people will read your poem. They'll you'll see them read your poem like 20 times, but they can't even check a like. You know, like hey, nothing <laughs> like it. You know, you're, you're over here, you know. You know, how about if you just click the like real quicky quicky, you know? <laughs> like, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. And you know, there's some people like Sal where she feels guilty as hell if she doesn't comment on everybody and she beats herself up over it. And I go, hey, you do far better than most people do, you know. So yeah, I think I think um, Rex yeah, right, and you know, it's showing common courtesy, definitely. Uh, it, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it's it's in in our in this cultural forum, I would say it's the same as acknowledging somebody hello when they're in the room. <laughs> I mean, just to 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 pass by that, like to not even you know uh, comment when you were there, even like you know what I mean. You were yeah. you were you were in the room, life, and you, yeah. it, it's like it's like Jesus, mm-hmm. what the hell did I do? You know, it's like oh, mm-hmm. I guess it's no good or something. You know, it just makes you wonder on the other side. Really yeah, yeah, people get offended to she doesn't like me. Maybe she doesn't like me. I hear that all the time. I don't think she likes me. She doesn't like me. She doesn't comment. That's not true. Maybe they, you know, but some people take it really to heart. Um, and I think, you know, yeah, and, but I I agree with you, Boo. You know, we do have that opportunity on AP to uh, all poetry that we can, if you have the higher membership, you can see, you know, you can see who's read what poem, whatever, whatever. And even if they're cloaked, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, whatever. But you'll see 20 people have looked at this, not one like, not one comment. 
or maybe you'll even <laughs> don't. They, they, maybe they're not hiding their self because there's a feature that we have on there where you can cloak yourself. And mm-hmm. but you'll see, you know, if they don't, if they're not cloaked, you'll see that same name maybe going back to the poem over and yeah. yet still they do not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and but you know, but you know that that tells you they like it. There's something they appreciate about it. For whatever reason, they're shy. Maybe you know we always have to get out of our own heads. Writers and other artists were so fundamentally insecure in reality. I think more than not, especially writers tend to have a harder time accepting things. You know, I don't know how I've burned notebooks, whole notebooks. I've burned them. I mean, so many words just gone, mm-hmm. so many ideas and thoughts, and you know, you always question yourself. But to have confidence and it just can carry. It's 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 a rare thing, but it can be developed, and I think we do that with each other here by doing that kind of support. When you do get those likes, you do get the comments. You know, you you get familiar with people. It does build your confidence up as an artist in, in this manner, in this you know, on this platform. I think it helps. Mm-hmm. We help each other, and it's right. It's a, you're right, Rag. It's a common courtesy, and we ought to do it more if we have the time. You know, I mean, most or the ability, you know, it's actually, you know, like you said, you love to do it. You use, you know, you, you, and you do do it, right? And you're a great commenter. I mean, I think no, anybody, when they know, when they know that, you, you know, this limitation that has fell upon you, that they, they respect and understand. And you, you are very vocal mm-hmm. once you get it here. And that's why you're, you know, you're a devoted caller to various, and you're very supportive of everyone. And you, it's, you're a great commenter, mm-hmm. right? And I, I hate that you can't leave written comments anymore it's a damn shame because you are mm-hmm. insightful you always see things that no one else sees right or they do see mm-hmm. but maybe don't quite realize they see it and you bring it to the light and you're always welcome Rack. and i appreciate you know you centering us <laughs> here on this show because it was me and boo falling apart <laughs> not that we were falling apart but <laughs> yeah that can be they, funny later maybe we got to just do a surprise <laughs> pop-up show every week Bring your, you know, and we can just have fun, and then we get a we get a gem like Blades piece, you know, this because it's not always because we're not always able to get these long extended pieces because we do have the time constraints mm-hmm. and we may have so many pieces we got to share. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I finally brought it up before. So. Yeah, and this is a good I, opportunity. I really like, appreciate you being know? able to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, no problem. And I thought it was an excellent poem, was, and it didn't seem like. 12 minutes to me, and you know, I'll be honest, um, some people, not not really here, not I wouldn't say here, but in other places I've been, let's just say, they're like, oh, <sighs> like, it's really taking so much time, out of their, <laughs> you know, don't you have don't have to sleep around, you know, you could leave, or, you know, you don't got to really, you know, <laughs> wait yeah, around if you don't. Really that makes me sleep. think of mm-hmm. them drop-ins, fly by night. They just want their exposure, and that's it. They're not there for anybody but themselves. Yeah. That, that may yeah, not always you know, be the case. Coming. But mm-hmm. Also, when you, when you, I think, in my opinion, if you do want to read and run, you should at least stay and wait for one poem, you know, just to be not so rude, because I feel <laughs> guilty reading really, really. Like at least stick around for one more, you know what I mean? Like don't. Well, it's fail. like yeah, yeah. It makes it makes me wonder. Do you actually appreciate others' poetry? Because you won't even listen well, to no, anyone no, else's. No, 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 no. Make, you, you never make know me what's wonder. going on. You right, never know what's wonder. going on on the other end when someone c- yeah, comes and re- appears. Yeah. That there's just. I, I'd like to. I prefer to believe that there's usually extenuating circumstances, and and, and mm-hmm. it's not divas, and they just wanted to read it and disappear. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's right. the case. You know, it's not always the case. You know that it's uh, the negative side of things, and it's good. We should give each other the benefit of the doubt. I think that's a healthy, you know, healthy but, but rose-colored. People, but, but like you say, people, people <laughs> do notice. People do notice, and they got and they'll, they'll gossip about it. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go. Read and run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, mm-hmm. sure, yeah, sure. yeah, no. Some people that are texting you. I'm in a rush. Can I hurry up? Can, I'm in a rush. It's like, oh, don't know. get me started on these non-texters, man. Don't get me started. <laughs> I will go off. No, I'm just kidding. It's like, and I'm always that sucker, dude. Like, they'll get back to me a week later, and I'm Johnny on the spot. It's like, bro, come on, man. Johnny on the spot. <laughs> You're I, I just, just no, I'm anyway. Gonna, I'm going to disappear for a month. <laughs> What'd you say? 
What'd you say, I, he's getting he's, me. He's saying, he's saying he's Johnny on the spot. I called him Mr. I'm going to disappear for a month. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I just kept, I just kept bombing the shit out of him. <laughs> it's like he had to come back. <laughs> you know what? I, just, I, you know. I, I loved you guys for not giving up on me, so never think it had it was anything personal about you guys or anyone here or they you're just a brat <laughs> no i understand people need a break you know we need a break and keep those down you need a break you need to you need to re- regroup and all that i wonder I if mean, that's a yeah. kink sub i wonder if that's a kink on the <laughs> male aspect brat male sub hmm yeah, there there's is. a woman any woman interested in a, a male brat sub Albatross Adams, <laughs> look me up. Husband? Will you be a house husband? House husband? Oh, right. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm built for house husbandry. What are you talking about? I'm domesticated <laughs> by the age of 12. I, I lift up both feet. I put it back down. I cook. I clean. And you cook. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I give cuddles. I'm cuddly. I was thinking yeah. of an interesting <laughs> line today from uh, Who's Pulp got Fiction. a fresh made outfit in your stars? Yeah, oh, I got a couple. Wee wee. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put you there, G. Hi, G. Money. I see you there. But uh, I think yeah, yeah. There's a pulp fiction line. I always pondered. I loved it because it's so true. And I was, and I feel it. And it was uttered by a woman. So in the movie Pulp Fiction, the character Bruce Willis has <laughs> his friend. I think she's actually French. I think it's funny. French is, it seems to be big tonight. But uh. Uh, she's pondering. She says, "I wish I had a pot, a pot." Now, now I sound British. But she's like, "I don't do accents. I wish I had a pot." And he's like, "You wish you had some pot?" And she's like, "No, a pot yeah, belly." Yeah. And then she talks about it's funny. The things that are appealing to our eyes are different than appealing to the touch, you know. And that makes yeah, me yeah. happy as a, a fat guy that a woman would think that way too. That. I love my but big she cuddly. She wish, she wish she had a pot belly. Yeah, she, she wishes she had a pot belly because she finds it, you know, nice to the touch, oh, to touch a little nice. fluff. And I, it makes me, mm-hmm. you know, I want, you know, I don't feel like there's many uh, female chubby chasers, but <laughs> c'est la vie is what it is. You know, we went to, I went to it when I was in nursing school. I went, we went to a nightclub and it was a bunch of girls. You know, usually a group of nurses gets you in, right? Pretty good because it's a bunch of chicks and everything. <laughs> So we get there and they're like, "We, you guys can't come in. Why not? Because tonight's Chubby Chaser night and you guys aren't fat enough. And we were like, oh, we love you. What a compliment. We were all happy. We were like, we're not fat. All right. Awesome. We're like, cool. And we're like, all to ego boost. And I go, right. well, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, that's kind of not right. It's kind of like, what's the discriminatory? He goes, yeah, but it's not nice. That's that night. There's you know, ladies night. You can't you go in. And I was like, oh, okay, drink. that's cool. And they were all like pitching a fit, and I was like, let's just go, you know. Come on, guys, don't trip. Sure. You know, it's like, but it's, you know, there's people yeah, but, that. But, but, there's, there's a taste for everybody. Everybody has a, you know, something but, they like. I know. I was speaking skinny in women, but you, could, you may have been skinny women, but you could have been chasing fat guys. You could have been there the chubby. You go. Yeah, he says, like, we're looking yeah. for those fat dudes. Bring on the, bring yeah. on the teddy bears. Yeah, I'd rather have a six with a sense of humor any day. Anyway, um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, if he's prettier than you are, there's a problem. Okay, I put one up there, and then Rack should go again and Blade. Um, and Adam, uh, did you go again? Just heads up. Uh, I know the counter isn't always our time limit. No, but it's we not have... right. Don't worry. Oh, Don't just, worry. Okay, I'll just ro- go with the flow. Yeah. We'll go till the chef's off. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I always get extra time so, over that, so just so, so you know. So um, how do we want to? I mean, we uh, pick another I, one of racks one if you're here. in the studio. Oh, you put one up. And then we'll do. I think it's the orders racks and right. Is oh, it me, you rack. Oh. I don't know. How does it go? Actually, if we're gonna do, it'd be me rack you blade. You. Okay, then you go first. <laughs> it's okay. You're already on the board, boo. Let's, let's just go that way. No, I, I like the name. Oh, what, you said you're set. Oh goodness gracious! I thought, um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. You... I'm gonna. What am I gonna read? I'm gonna go with. How about me? <laughs> Since it's me, 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 me. All me, about me. you, All right. Adam. This is called me. 
hated for what I am, <laughs> hated for what I'm not. Used to the no win scenario, searched high and low, heh, <laughs> searched for not. Ain't finding this thing they call a me, and l- 90 seconds and love, hmm. An amorphous, beautiful, slipping away kind of thing. Always seemed like water, water through my hands, so guess that leaves only heavy feet. And spaces between where I try and breathe, chewing off my own ear, because I'm too busy cannibalizing my chameleon flesh. Is that suicidal? I'm pliable, so bend me into what pleases you. Digging out of childhood trauma, I'm just digging while in a grave. Guess it helps me to end and <laughs> find its way along. Beginnings just are false starts. 60 seconds and fa- failures to launch. Jigsaw photographic memory epiphanies. They're painted in black melancholy, trapped in melting wax. Noir and drip covers the truth and blackouts of the abuse. I can't find the pieces stolen from my innocence. I just want to make sense here, there for you because I never had a me and never knew. Caterwauling and carrying on. I'm sure you're sick of the same old song, so let me dance the ballet, a black swan song, tiptoed into oblivion in pirouetting spirals with bow to a crowd of memory paint ever faint as I feign away to stay just another day. Make believe windmills in the sky, wish I may, wish I might, love me not, pulling petals from the wings of broken black birds which sing sweet songs. I'm sewing together to repair the feathers, to remind caged birds you're too beautiful to stay. Even in a golden cage, fly away and maybe I'll catch your tune in the sweet smelling breeze and I'll remember when I was a boy, lost and lonely with only shadows with whom to play and hold me tight. Remember things like gentle dreams even though I had to hide a knife below my pillow as I stay awake afraid, ready to fight. Is that fair for just a boy, just a boy who never knew but knew all too well things like abuse? I feel his tears wet on my cheek. Oh, wait, that's me. And boy, I got it done in time. So we're not going to be cut off, right? No, no, no. We're not going to be cut off, don't worry. We're not even going to be off the air? No. Well, no, you made it, you made it. This always throws me. Um, It always throws me with the countdown and everything. That's why I don't look at it. (laughs) Um. Ten seconds okay. that, to launch. That was um really uh that was uh did you put it on the board? Did you put it on the not. board? I did not. Let me do that. I, I Adam's on the board. It was, it was him and his silly. Yeah, so um, I thought we were I was gonna get dropped, so I just started like I'm gonna get this out and read, so were you supposed to read that really fast like a rap or what? I was wondering. I started going I started going quicker. <laughs> then I realized, yeah. I, then I was daunted. I forgot how long it was. Oh, my mind was calculating the speed at which I was reading and everything. I was like, I, I'm not going to get it in time, at, you know, even at a high tempo. Uh, what the you heck? Got it. Did I put it on the board? I thought I did, and then nothing popped up. Wrong room. No, didn't. Wrong. He's oh, like, wrong room, there right? Is. Somebody just, <laughs> somebody just got a penis picture. Mm. <laughs> Oh, let me put uh, it in my collection. Okay. Um, I like the beginning, don't mind the actually. Top hat. Hated, hated to, for what I am, hated for what I'm not. So it's like you can't win either way, you know, no matter what you do. And that happens. I see it all the time. Used to the no-win to the no win scenario. You're used to bad luck. You're the kind of person that reminds me of, like, how I used to be maybe kind of still a little bit in, but I'm actually more comfortable with pain and hurt and heartbreak and disappointment, sadly, than I am with happiness. And, and that's fucking pathetic and sad to say, and I know it is um, when I'm working on that one. Um, uh, the water through my hands, so guess that leaves only space between where I try to breathe. This is somebody who's smothered by, by insecurity, by abuse, by never knowing maybe – Listening to the other people, telling them what he is and what he should be, and that you know, like I always say, the the bad stuff easier to believe than the good. Is that suicidal? I'm I'm uh, pliable, so bend me. Also says to me a people pleaser, somebody who wants to become be what everybody wants, so that he's liked and loved. But really, he's a little insecure, a little boy. I'm not trying to be sound like I'm not trying to be bitchy. It's just what I see. And someone who needs love and and to be told that he's good enough, and you always say that you missed on that, and that makes me sad, really, because, you know what, if you don't want kids, don't fucking have any, but don't 
you know, treat the ones you have like shit. I got friends that don't even like the kids they got, yet they're having more. I think it's pathetic. Um, you know, all children should be loved and told they're beautiful. And, and, you know, that's shit that you can never shake because, it's, you know, it shapes you and those words are strong. And you never shake them and you, it becomes part of who you are. And then gentle dreams uh, to hide a knife below my pillow. I know you're from the hood. Maybe you're talking about that or you're talking about the person that is just to protect yourself from the monsters out there because that's all you've ever seen. That's all you're used to. And that makes you sad. And then you realize it's you, you know, you're the one there. And that's, uh, you know, the whole thing is just sad. I just want to hug you. and it's, But, you know, hopefully it made you a stronger person because I say it every show and not to embarrass you, but I, I don't I see anything wrong with you. I don't. I just see beauty, talent, and someone who's soft and someone who's not afraid to show his emotions and someone who's uh, pretty damn special in my opinion. So I thought it was great. Um, uh, how about you, Blade? I just want to hug you. Mm-hmm. Just like, like we said, like, I am I am so glad that we're friends. I'm so glad that I know you. And, you know, I know that, you know, we've talked before about, you know, how similar our lives are and how similar our lives have been. And just... There's so much hurt and a lot of there's a lot of grieving. You know, and there's there's grieving what happened, there's grieving who you could have been, who you could have grown into. And, you know, there's grieving you know, the fact that um, someone who is supposed to protect you didn't. And It's it's hard to move on past that, but it makes for some damn good poetry sometimes. <laughs> that's that's, that's kind that of my truth. philosophy. That the truth. Heartbreak is great poetry. No shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's, so, it's so true. <laughs> Racky Poo, you know that firsthand, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, I, I mean, the, 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 this sounds like someone searching for themselves, and it's co- just only complicated by being abused and and not being accepted. Um, you know, I, you you got so many notes of of you know searching for yourself in this, both literally and metaphorically, and and then um, when you get to the point of you know hiding a knife under your pillow, it's it's like you know. Wow. So the, the, let, let's let's just make it even more complicated and, and throw a little abuse in, into the picture that, that, you know, you can't even go to sleep without worrying, being worried about, you know, getting beaten up in your, in, in your bed. So, yeah, that, 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 that's yeah, really um, just <laughs> put you in, in, in an emotional place that, 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 you know, you can recognize even if you can't um, relate to it. You know, it, it, it's it's ugly. Mm-hmm. But it makes the damn good poetry, like Blade said. And that that that'll be the and quote of the would, evening for sure. That'll be the quote. There we go. It makes for damn good poetry. And I you know what? Gotta... You didn't break me because you're still here standing and being the person that you are. And if you have like you and Rack both, I think with some of the most welcoming personalities, big hearts. You're you're just like big teddy bears. You were just like I always tell Rack it's my comfy pillow because you know <laughs> you just want to be around you because your vibes are just uplifting and I mean you know even like Lady A said the other night she said Jesus Christ what's up with Adam holy shit she's like he's so vulnerable he's not afraid to put it out there he tells you he is he's it's like racking this writing too same thing I, us chicks like that I mean you're not afraid to admit your shit it wasn't perfect and you know it's fucked up and all that and you're still writing your beautiful poetry giving it out and you know what shame on whoever did this too shame on those fuckers too because you know what you know damn well, you know, what's going on. There's no excuse for that shit. May you burn in hell, seriously. And, um, you know, people that are supposed to protect you didn't do that. It makes me sick. I see it every day. I think they should be shot. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, so, uh, anyway, you have a Sorry, I was what? trying to cover with the phone. Semi's driving by again. 
Hey, Blaze, I got to ask you a question, Blaze. Did, did, yes. did, you, yes. did, you, did you ever hear me sing? I don't think so. Okay. Because um, I, I, I know a- Adam was going to put something to music for me, and he kind of disappeared before he got the chance. So he never heard me sing it. He never heard me sing it. I know Boo's heard it a couple of times now, but if if you want, that's the one that I'll put up. Yeah, go for it. Is is is, is G on? Because I know she wants to hear it too, and and she's hasn't been around to hear me sing it either. I know she wanted to hear me. Um, she's not in the studio. I don't. But she might listen later. I don't know. Yeah, she said she can't make it today. But you can do it again next time. I'll let you play it as many times as you want, so she hears it. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be brave enough. Um, mm-hmm. the, 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 te- the, the text, put if you put it up, is, it's Pure Disdain is the name of the song. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. just to the melody of um, uh, uh, Still the Same. Yeah. Okay, hey, so uh, still Silk the, is wondering if it's too late to call. No, no. Nope. It's, it's saying there's no show. Yeah, but yeah, because, oh, because he, he missed the cutoff, out. so it's gonna, it's yeah. yeah so, it uh, unless, unless you want to conference him in. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Um, yeah, do you loop know? Loopholes. It's all about loopholes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got you. Exactly. I got this. Okay, pure just She's got this. So I love those the, uh, famous words. Are you gonna get the um the the um. I know we have it in the studio already, so um, if you no, get no, no, home, I'll, I'll, I'll sing it. it. I'll sing it. He's just going to sing oh, it okay. from the dome. Okay. So we'll look it up and post it, maybe. I'll get your poem right now. Um, one second. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Okay. Okay. All right. I like this one, actually. And actually where am I? Oh, here we go. And, Rick, I did get to hear it. I didn't you get did? to put the guitar together for you, but remember, yeah, I was there at a... Uh, Pretty Bird's birthday bash. Oh. I That's did right. my wait, wait, wait. I did my creep parody. I was there. I remember, yeah, you it was, was really good, man. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We actually, I'm we actually, you we actually, it's okay. No, I'm, 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 I get like, it. Like you left me at the prom and, and, and you were there. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, when um, it, Adam, you did, you did creep by who? Oh, I did a... I did a like you know how he yeah, yeah. I was by Radiohead he did like Radiohead three way called or something Silk okay. Silk three way in this is we're we're Thank swinging you. away here <laughs> yeah I guess that works you, you can't you can't call in after hours because you know the the, the studio like you like you found out it shuts down but she could still conference you in so if she drops you drop but <laughs> you 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 pick back <laughs> that sounds like it's about to be a, a hip hop hook. She drops, you drop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Random. Listen, that's right, so, so, uh, Fire or... Hi, Sinky. What was that show? Hi, Sinky. With Kurt Russell and Backdraft. There we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Backdraft. Dude, you're taking us to the classic, cliche 90s movies. What's next, Cliffhanger? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cliffhanger, yeah. I, thought, I was hoping for some Escape well, from L.A. That seems more your vibe. So so just the time you get to hear Rex sing a song, man. He's gonna do his parody of Still the Same Bob C. Oh, there we go. Hi, Phil. Uh, Just say when. Hey boo. Ready, ready, in I mean in when, I mean (laughs) Is it in ready when you are. So um, I, I I only borrowed the melody. Right? I mean, obviously, when you hear it, will have, have absolutely nothing to do with Bob Seger's. Still the same, but it is to the melody. So um, it's called Pure Disdain. You walked away, laughing as I writhed in pain. It's not okay. In love like it's a game Emotional scabs you picked in vain Not a glimmer of remorse or shame Just pure disdain Heart of stone A tomb for every feeling you've known 
monument to the damage you've done. On your lofty throne, running flesh to the bone, till you're all alone. Last refrain, lamenting behavior I can't hope to explain. The psychological shrapnel exploding with blame till my whole world crumbles from the strain. And I've gone insane. Bravo. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, I remember that it was a great personal like nod and uh I remember she adored that. She ad- she definitely adored that that piece. All right, it was it was very clever Hold on, too. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Uh, Are you there, Raz? Did, yeah. Wants... Okay, Raz is here. Razzle, Razzle Dazzle. dazzle. Woo-hoo. Give us a little bit of that. Razzle doing, Raz? What's up, Adam? You doing your whole show here? Out of nowhere? <laughs> nice. Impromptu with Adam and Boo. He's practicing. No <laughs> <laughs> better good, partner Dad. to That's walk through the fire good. with, let me tell you. <laughs> um, what'd you think, Silk? Yep. <laughs> Dang, excuse me. Um, sorry. Uh, I thought it, I really dug this. Um, I thought it was a great thing. First, of, <coughs> damn. I'm sorry, I was taking a drink and it went down the wrong way right when you called my name. <laughs> but uh, I, I really, I, I like the middle, your middle uh, stanza here with the thing, the heart of stone, now a tomb for every feeling you've known, monument, uh, monument to the damage you've sown, sitting in judgment on your lofty throne. Bending flesh to the bone, so you're all alone. It's like, uh, damn, that was really tight. I like the rhyme, and uh, just, just like, yeah, it really spoke to how some people uh, can just, um, I guess, call up their feelings until they just don't feel anything. It's just, uh, damn, very strong piece. Like that. Thanks, Silk. Blade, what did you think of Rex piece? I'm not familiar with the original song, so I didn't know what to expect, but I liked the rhythm of it. I, I liked I liked the scheme of it. Um, emotional scabs you picked in vain. Oh, I loved that. I, I might I might steal that in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Stealable versus. Yeah. No, the um the originals in the author's notes. Awesome. Um, there's a link to the original in the author's notes. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big like music person, at least with lyrics. So. Yeah, it, it was it was an old song. Um, and like I said, it was more to the melody than anything. It wasn't um, you know, yeah. nothing like the the original lyrics. Yep. Ooh. Anybody who sings on the yeah, radio, anybody who sings on the radio is, is pretty ballsy in my opinion. Anyways, I would never sing on the radio, uh, and then to do it yeah, live is way. really crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. And it's pretty hard to sing on the radio. Um, I've done it a few times, and yeah, I'm always yeah. like almost cringe when I do it. So. <laughs> yeah, and I would never. Um, and then, isn't it funny how like it goes pretty much from um, how you can go from uh, I guess love to hate so quick, pure disdain. You know, he was in love and he not, and um, heart of stone, a tomb for every feeling you've known. It's like, ooh, he's totally dead now, and and um, and then he's going insane. This is like really serious heartbreak, and um, you know, and to the point now that he hates her ass. <laughs> So that's the one it gets weird and ugly. <laughs> Good job and great singing. Thanks, Boo. You're welcome. I think there's a piano in that piece too, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, there is. I got a melody for your other one too in my head, but uh I'll go about that later. <laughs> Raz, did you Raz, happen to you... hear it on the 
Yeah, I saw the piece. Oh, wait, uh, I see how you're referencing here Bob Siegel, but I saw the paranoia by Black Sabbath where oh, you yeah, have the narrator explain that they've given up on all of life's value because of a bad woman that broke your heart, which means that there's nothing to believe in anymore, including society or politics. And so this is like that same level of, well, this person let me down, then why do I have to go on trusting everyone else when it comes to society? Paranoia. Thanks, Raz. It's a, it's a good insight, Raz. Good music, good songs, and interesting thought on that. Interesting thought on that. <laughs> you, know, you know, someone can break you so bad that you decide F the whole dang system. You know, yeah. that, that, that happens sometimes. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. You want to let Silky go next? Silky and then Raz? Yeah, Silky. Silky, got anything to bring to us? Some Silky Smooth? (laughs) Silky Smooth? He got some. Still panties. Yeah, as soon as I get off the... As soon as I get off of uh, mute there. And, uh... Oh, so far he's preparing. His voice is dropping into... (laughs) Oh wow! We want to hear your uh, something juicy. Nope. Wait. Actually, I'm bringing something dark today. <laughs> dark. Oh, okay. But uh, damn, dark. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Hit it. That's okay. I'm just kidding. I like all your poetry. Yeah. So no yeah, so it's called uh, Wailing yeah, Beneath so. the Skeletal Moon. I stitched silence across the void. Shattering symphonies, following to lay, like pieces of broken notes, scattered among the bones of half-buried overtures. Those bleached white monuments never lie still, groaning their dirge, where only black roses will grow in the dark halls of my sanitarium. Stretching the eons, till all sanity breaks and I drift in the mire of deadlight mist. I feed them wild, these onyx petals, with blood of my serrated fingers. Memories that scream, raging against my skull, banging like the other inmates against their corroded bars. When that final thread snaps like lightning, striking me down among the wailing ghosts, I see you dancing like the skeletal moon, they the neither. The sun of thy flowing hair perfumes the cackles clutching bony hands pulling me into madness and I rave at their touch is that hello Adam and peace Adam and peace okay yeah um, wow this definitely dark dark and the, the imagery was so dark, and there's so many unique. Um, I think I've heard this. I think you shared this before, this one, this dark one, and m- maybe before. I, I feel like I remember it. If not, I remember this feeling. Uh, and another piece of yours you yeah. did that was dark, uh, that was dark specifically because the rom- the romanticism or the erotic nature of it was, there was like none of the erotic, but the romanticism was slightly there. Like it was falling away, to because of the, the the deep longing lost in the pain. You, there was just this, I mean, the, the idea of stretching eons, you know, and then the uh, the, the dead light, you know, and, the, and it going further as you just spiral in this misery, remembering though, you know, you're you're being haunted, and you're not only <laughs> and it's like the reference, it, it, it became relatable. Like inside the poem itself, not from the reader, the reader, but that you realize you weren't even alone in this. Like because you say that, like, like the other prisoners, like you you do this thing where you it's you, it's just you, and then you you reference these other prisoners besides the ghost that's haunting you. You know of the this love or this person that in this let it be um, fiction or from the heart, or you know where you use your own emotions 
to put, paint a picture of fiction using true emotion. Either way, it's it's so valid and it comes off authentic. And man, you are a master. You are a master at at not only you know dark, but the way you read, you can read you know funny, dark, romantic, sensual, sexual. You know, you it could be a script. You know, like you're doing characters or like line for line, back and forth. Like you can bring things to life. You have a rhythm. You have a flow. You you know when to like emphasize words, and it's such great reading and writing. It's such a talent. So, well, thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Of course, uh, uh, Rez. Um, what do you think of Silk's piece there? Yes, I, I would uh, agree with the previous panelists. This is definitely a kind of horrific type of science fiction, what there is to discuss the moon. I, I did not imagine the prisoners who were, were locked inside uh, some kind of vacuum of space while being tortured for millenniums upon billions of years. But uh, when looking into uh, what he's writing, there is that sensation of uh, nocturnal haunting. And when it comes to any such occult phenomenon, a heavy sense of death, like there are these skeletons which were never rested in age, does kind of ambiate that form of nightmarish mode, of which the poet here has elaborated in graphic details. Yeah, thanks, Rose. Uh, full agreement. Um, Rack. Sorry. Dude, that was like one flew over the cuckoo's nest meets alien. I thought it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I, you know, the dimensions of the mm-hmm. sanitarium and and you know, uh, the, the 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 references to the music in the beginning, the melody, um, that that, that kind of added to to the feel of it for me. Um, it, it almost set the tone in a, in a Poe like fashion. But um, as as you dug into it, you you veered away from it, and um, I mean, I I thought it was great. Um, there was a lot of darkness, and and the mention of of the um, I think you specifically said kind of your your own your your sanitarium, and um, you know the black roses. So um, it, it sort of followed the the thought of mine. You know, I, I went insane, and then you you <laughs> you, you gave me the aftermath of that. So I thought it was great. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Uh, Blade. Always a pleasure to hear you read. Um, I I don't think you claimed the crown tonight so far, but I have to admit I really enjoyed this. Um, (laughs) 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 You you missed me read a 12-minute piece. So I'm I'm gonna lord that over your head for the next few days at least. <laughs> well, she's um, just gonna make you read it later. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I'll try to get the private read. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I I love um, these onyx petals with blood of my serrated fingers, memories that scream <laughs> raging against my skull. Banging like the other inmates against the corroded bars. It's I I love that whole stanza and um I I love the mention of black roses and broken notes um with shattering symphonies. That that just goes so well together. And half buried overtures. Mm, that that was gorgeous um yeah this this was fun i'm i'm glad that i caught you so that you could join in the conversation and contribute to the poetic tonight (laughs) (laughs) with the other inmates with the other inmates here at the sanitarium (laughs) (laughs) speaking of (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, this just screams to me, you really, I mean, the black roses, the darkness, uh, raging against my skull, banging like other yeah. inmates. That's so cool. I love the music references you got there. Uh, shattering symphonies, pieces of broken notes. The picture is really cool. I like the picture. Um, this is like a uh, wailing ghost. I see you. I see you dancing. Uh, I I wonder. I think maybe this is about um, the secret of feeling hair. Is it about somebody you miss, or you're you know? I'm not saying like in real life, but um, someone he missed that maybe went like went the way of insanity maybe she lost it or something and he's now she's a ghost and he's looking for her searching for her i don't know i might be way off probably but um yeah it's really horrifying and it's really well written and, and i think that uh, and your voice of course is always lovely uh really good job here is it about somebody leaving that was that now you consider a ghost or that's or not really Am I way off, probably? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a depression piece. Um, it's been so long, too. I'm not exactly, I'm not 100% remembering exactly <laughs> what I wrote it about, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking on your thing that you didn't put, uh, like, what? <laughs> I couldn't cheat. No I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. Great. <laughs> great job, my friend. Oh, that's funny. That, that's that's. That's my uh, other my other bestie right there, no middle name. She's an amazing poet. Anybody knows her? So that's from one of hers. That makes sense. Yeah, she's she, that's ballsy because she's a great poet. You did a good job, really good job. With this so loved it. Well, thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Yeah, this piece was a definitively silk piece. His signature, yeah, his lavishness yeah. just dripped all over the page of it. Yeah. It, you know, it was it was purely him, and yeah, I mean, everyone hit it. You know? I mean, there's such beauty in these lines. You know, it's inspiring. So, mm-hmm. so thank you, thank you for doing you and writing mm-hmm. your amazing in your amazing style and voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only that, I think Silk, that this is four years old. I can see how much better you've gotten, actually. I'm not saying this is bad. I mean, don't take me the wrong way. How much yeah, you've far grown. Yeah, it's, I mean, with your word choices and your wording now. I mean, I think. You <laughs> told how much better yeah. you've gotten to when you used to be that sick. Yeah, it's now true. It's true. No, it's true. <laughs> you were good then. You're fantastic now. It's like, <laughs> oh, no, I, you know what I, mean, no, I, I see that. I, I think anybody can do that. To go back and look throughout their poems, you can see it. I think most yeah. people steadily progressing mm-hmm. and getting better yeah. from, like, the beginning to their most recent. And if you um, haven't, then, well, I don't know. That's pretty pretty bad. I don't know. All my little kitties are growing. Uh, did you comment, Raz? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Raz, you have a piece to read? Yeah. You get a good one, Raz. I, I did this I poem understand. at Poetic Sites of Life just half an hour ago, and I'll read it here. This is the last one I pinned on my profile page. It's called Remember Now. Here's the poem. Remember Now. I remember I had a choice to make, and it could only be you. Every selfish grass to self-enlightenment required the aptitude, Ruth. The sunlight flowers in jeweled cages, the painted lines you came in kindness portrayed. While I sketched off the black and white of the zebra tail and was fogged, beguiled by the kerosene powder, smoky field vision, losing it all but that one irreplaceable hope. I remember we had a place to go, secluded of external infatuations, in each other's bald arms laying the tension, first room temperature, every tower clock rolling the next quarter echoed a celebration memory, excused but not removed, indicated through Icarus wing and Prometheus eagle pierced cage rib, that ageless myth, the long distance upon immediate reflection is call waiting blitz. Pup, pup, tuta, shall I add the words in a few? La, 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 la. I remember who kept me honest and true, but lied at the hunting animal masquerade. The masked figures allude to matters predisposed. Those orphan days were foster care. They excluded the somewhere else we had chosen to be home. If anyone else had cared, surely I would have heard the word. When the absent years had clearly 
stated your non-existence, we met again to have their prosecution disproved. You remember me now. I'm the one who swore he would never forget you. And poem. Wow. Wow, Rev. This is definitely you, uniquely you. And it's done in a, a, a different tone. Still holds your voice. Your writer's voice, but done in a different stylization than I'm tip than I'm typically used to, and I, it, it comes off amazing. So much about it. Sorry, it is semi driving by. Um, the the feeling I get from this is just you know the the, the long lost abandonment. And it's like trying to make it work without, Hmm. you know, trying to make it work. I mean, and then the kind of like blase feeling of it and the the person's like, well, this is the way it is. And and then in a shining, I I guess I get, you know, almost in a way in a shining moment, they seem to return and it's like, Oh, now you know the the return of this person suddenly, but yet in a key moment. But, but, yeah, you you yeah the but but you uh, left me abandoned, and now you remember me, like that remember me now. You know, brought like I'm the one who said he'd never forget you. I mean, I love the I love the met the the Prometheus. You know, I love the the. <clears throat> Mythology references. Um, I need to look up a, this word. Uh, where is it? Tilibration. Cause I, uh, you can tell me what that means because I don't know what tilibration means. I, I was going to copy. You know, it's an alteration of tintilibation, which is the sound bowels make ringing. Oh, man. What a, what a unique use of words. And you always do that, Raz. You just, <laughs> you know, Rack has touched on that often. Uh, that you have a unique way of using words and modernizing poetry to this era, if not beyond, in some of your more fantastical pieces, where you'll use modern idioms or technology or something of the sort and then use it metaphorically in a phrasing that would be similar, you know, to the past. You know, so, I mean, if someone were to be saying uh, they were um, riding a horse in, like, maybe an old Western poem or something, I don't know if the cowboys wrote poems, but uh, <laughs> or something of that nature, instead of a horse, you know, you're saying, you know, a motorcycle or a car, or you're going even further into the future. <laughs> maybe sometimes you're writing the neurons of the brain. So you, you have this unique way, but this was way, this seemed so much more personal than some of, like, the more fanciful things that are more like your thoughts just bouncing around and uh, the ideas of the world. This seems like a personal uh, effigy of something that you went through. And thank you. Thank you for sharing this, Raz. Thanks. Yes. Uh, This is uh, really on memories and precognition, but uh, if it's really something that ever happened, I don't know what inspired me to write this piece. It just seemed completely <laughs> logical to have been phrased exactly the way you see it there. Remember now. Precognition. Awesome. <laughs> I should have known. I'm not precog, though. All right. Uh... <laughs> You're postcognition. <laughs> oh, that's just hindsight. Uh Blade, what did you think of Raz's piece? This was really cool. Um, I, I like the title for it. And um, Pierced, caged ribs that ageless mist the long distance upon immediate reflection is called Waiting Blitz. Um, and then... But lied at the hunting animal masquerade. The masked figures allude to matters predisposed. I I love the imagery there. 
Um, so it, it all ties in together really well. Um, sunlight flowers and jeweled cages of painted lions. That was gorgeous. I loved that. Um, I, I love how many references there are to animals with the lions and the black and white zebra tail. Um, again, with the Icarus wing and Prometheus eagle, the hunting animal masquerade, like I mentioned. Um, this was fun to listen to and fun to read along with. Um, it was just, it was not what I expected, and I am glad for that. Thank you, Miss Mars. Yeah, I know you're accustomed to me being a, a bit more postmodern, but I do vary styles because I like writing the form poetry. So I, I kind of change it around sometimes for right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good job. I'm glad. I love the line breaks, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I remember how to do that line breaks. Surprise. <laughs> Who's there, um, Adam? Rex. <laughs> never put never put Raz in a box. That's that that's what I say. Um, you know, it, it, he'll surprise you. And and it, 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 I won't say this is a good example of it. Um, I, I I've come to appreciate the way he uh, puts puts his thoughts on the page. Um, and from the opening, if you don't overthink it and you just take it for what he's saying, um, you know, I had a choice to make and I chose you. You know, that that, that thought alone. Um, speaks to the entire poem. If you ha- if you hang on to that as you read everything else, it, m- it makes total sense, Raz. And I-, I thought you did a fantastic job. Um, Icarus and Prometheus, you know, kind of blew away my 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 thoughts of your more modern stuff. But you know, like you said, but don't stick to that formula. You like to change it up, and it works really well for you. Um, and and it fits. It fits beautifully into the way that you write and 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 the stories that you tell. This this was fantastic. It, it had that feeling of, of devotion and melancholy at the same time. That that like you know, um, well you know I, I I've been here all along. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. You know, <laughs> it, it, it was um, al- almost sarcastic in a way, and and almost like you know and, you know you made your choice, live with it. Um, but you know at the same time it was like, but it hurt me still all all the same. So I mean you wrapped all of that in this in, in a wonderful way. I thought it was great. Thank you, Rack. I think you hit it dead on there with what you were saying that I was there all along, but you didn't notice. It's a message with the poem, yeah. Remember now. Back to you, Adam. Right, um, Silk? Yeah, I really dug this. This was a little different for you, uh, Raz. I totally, um, for me, I think uh, I can't really add too much more about it, except that I really enjoyed your second uh, last stanza here in particular. I love the, I remember who kept me honest and true. The line of the hunting animal masquerade, the mass figures allude to matters predisposed. Those orphan days were foster care. They excluded the somewhere else we had chosen to be home. If anyone else who cared, surely I would have heard the word. I thought that conveyed so much uh, emotion and meaning and just like a sense of uh, kind of maybe profound regret or um, or um, longing, I guess. Uh, just a lot of different emotions, I think, swirled around in that stanza in particular, um, as well as the whole poem. I really enjoyed it. It's a great job on it. Thanks, so. Yeah, uh, this is uh, not exactly a way to be interpreted one way. I I thought about it as a man who ran into a wife that uh, he believed he had married in a previous lifetime, 
I thought about it differently about uh, someone who accidentally runs into another person during a war. And so there's like a combination here of different precognitive memories. Why I, I labeled it under that time as to the subgenre. Well, well, that's man. You know, the thoughts and to, to to do something like that, right? It's like what I mean. The idea to take that leap or um, do something the, the the craft of thought that way. It's so like outside of the normal way minds typically, I think, work. Um, so unique that's I mean that's cool I, I it kind of reminds me of the something silly but I'm not so I'm not going to get into it just now but I don't mean like it you know there's it's a comedy movie where this guy's like writing a fiction book about vampires or something and then he says but it's really all just a metaphor for for industrial revolution of Germany or something and, but it was a book. But he write he was writing a fiction book about vampires, like a romanticism f- fantasy fiction about vampires, which really was just a metaphor for the industrial age of Germany. So that's kind of that thought process there that you you have the ability to almost basically hoodwink. I feel betrayed, right? <laughs> like I'll get like, but you know what? That's why I got to go with what I feel from it, the, the emotional stance because it's like a bait and switch, like. Oh, it really wasn't that, but it is this. But I know you appreciate it either way. You know, you, you know, you got, you know, you just over, you, you overthink me far and wide. So, but I love your pieces; they mess me up. Any Last. feedback is good feedback. Negative or positive? That would be my mindset. Uh, boo! I don't know. I'm thinking of feedback on an amp when you say that. Ooh, I love that sound. <laughs> no, it is good feedback. I love that feedback. That Jimi Hendrix, you know, the, I love the sound of when a, a guitar is too close to an amp, and you start getting the the ringing shrill. Jimi Hendrix had a way of crafting that into music. He knew how to turn noise into note into music, and it was so mm-hmm. profound. But you're very some classic classical by the book musicians don't get it. You have to be a true artist, and I think you know. I, I don't know where that. Just, I just because I like feedback. I like <laughs> the, the the sound of the the end. Anyways, sorry, I'm on. Who save me? Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I see like romance. I mean, like the voice of Ryan. Um, I don't know who's talking to, or maybe he's not meaning it that way. But it's just the title. Remember now. Remember right now in the moment. Stop looking in the past. Stop looking to the future. Just enjoy what you have right here, right now. Um, and then he chose her. Uh, and that's the first line is romantic, I think. And um, and then um, the sunlight flowers and jeweled cages of painted lions. You taming kindness portrayed. That's this is the front page. Don't worry, I'll nominate it. And <laughs> keep nominating all the others lately. But uh, um really well written and it's I mean and I do like this line breaks I gotta tell you because then I can process it a little bit better um for me because my mind's crazy but um um and then I love external infatuation um in each other's arms laying in tension I mean this to me this is a romantic maybe it's it's almost reminds me of like that person that you almost met that you almost missed but you kind of just missed each other and now you're thinking what if um, and then you're trying to relive it in the memory. That's how I read it. I'm maybe probably way off, but um, and then you remember me now, and then you say, "I'm the one." Like, hello. Sometimes you're like, "Hello, I'm right here. What are you looking out for? For I'm talking. To you. I'm right here. I'm giving you myself to you, and you're not paying attention. And um, now it's too late. So you're shit out of luck, kind of. And um, but still feel that longing and that. Uh, I think you did a great job for that prompt too, and you wrote that pretty quick too. Uh, beautiful and moving and, and intelligent, Brad, as always. Yeah, but me and my imaginary girlfriend broke up again, but we got back together <laughs> or later. 
<laughs> Good, because I heard you's a real bitch. <laughs> I don't know who told you that. <laughs> Funny, man. <laughs> Your imaginary BFF. Or the other imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that actually that, kinda, that, that was a good quip, Raz. That was that was good, man. Yeah, that, and, that was good. and it makes me it makes me yeah. actually inspired me. I'm thinking now I want to write yeah. something to <laughs> to that in a sense. Raz is a crafty fellow. Imaginary heartbreak. Imaginary heartbreak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But there's something about that joke. It really just kind of tickled me in a way that makes me kind of feel inspired in a sense. It's funny. You never know. Like, <laughs> He's funny as hell, but also people know that, but he's funny. I'm, I'm sure Clint Black would make it into a country song. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> My imaginary girlfriend left me again. Did she put out? Does she put out, Raz, the imaginary girlfriend? <laughs> Only in my oh. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh-huh. And then he could modernize it like this, and his Tesla drove itself away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some deal, yeah. Hey, she didn't, she, didn't, have... she didn't nag or complain. She didn't nag or complain or anything. She just. <laughs> or maybe she's a. Anyway, I'm going on. What? Are, where are we now, Boo? I'm I'm lost in the mire. No Y'all idea. commented. Uh, so we're coming back around. You said there was something in order, yeah. So I I just leave it up to you. Yeah, well, it's. Uh, it would mean if we're doing order, then it would be rack. Oh wait. What did this? Wait, yeah, no, it's boo. Wait, what? No, we. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be you, boo. <laughs> the boned. No, I was gonna read a different one because I, I I changed my mind. I already Too late. read that one. No. <laughs> I, I just I just thought I read it. Oh, I think Raz heard this one, but sorry, Raz. Uh, um, uh, this is for, um, you two, my favorite band, and uh, um, oh god, I gotta make the font bigger. Sorry, I can't see shit. Yeah. Okay, so this is um for their song. So there's a song on the bottom too. No boundaries for our ballad. Sing hymns of solitude across my shoulders. Utter summer sonnets down my spine. Scribe seductive scripts on neglected flesh. Absorb the sound between the foreign and familiar. Shot ballads of mutual adoration in mysterious ways. Sands your existence, I swim on solemn shores where warriors worship wolves feeding us the carcasses of well worded lovers. Confess long hidden eulogies, I no longer belong to me. No need to alter to make this soul kneel tonight. We'll make the saints blush. What all of your unkind things will do to each other. My inspiration. <clears throat> sorry. My inspiration. Where am I? Oh, I lost my. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. My inspiration skilled hands could make any skeptic a believer. Together we found religion. Silence the cry of bitter hearts of, at war. United hungry hands will create our own stunning masterpiece. Shatter the rhythm myths of ego and free will amidst. Mutual rapture, spirits reclaim their own self possession. Succumb to the perpetual agony brought about by the constant distance between. Allow magnificent moon to orbit my horizon, causing tsunamis and floods. Fierce gravitational pull that causes jagged fault lines. My muse lies breathless in my adoring arms, becoming the nature of my prolific poetry and poem. Thanks, Boo. And the song is mysterious ways on the bottom there. What? What was that? The song. What was the song? How are you anything for love? No, it's mysterious ways either way. That's me. Oh, I'm thinking of me, love. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you too, mysterious ways. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Uh, You too. You move in mysterious ways. There you go, Raz. It becomes kind of spiritual at that fade out. Lift my go. days and light up my night. <laughs> you can do that. I love it. Sing, sing us some more. 
<laughs> yeah, this this was such a you know, it's Boo. Totally her voice, her style. We have these I I feel like I'm like what's the sorry, you know, my mind's not working. It's not as cute as it was earlier, but I wanna say I'm I feel like I I'm fawning. That. I feel like I'm fawning. I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm fawning into <laughs> into into somebody, you know. I'm, I'm like just I'm fa- like I f- I'm not only fawning but like falling into them, like my whole self, like I'm <laughs> pouring into them. Reading this, it's just so wonderful. This and I love it. It's some amazing, unique lines in here. The imagery, always her imagery, you know, Boo's imagery is always just Boo. Your imagery just paints beautiful pictures. Beautiful, beautiful picture. And then I love the end that it's so <laughs> that it actually embodies prolific, like it's prolific. It, it embodies not prophylactic, right? <laughs> it embodies it embodies the, the the very essence of your your poetry, your being. Basically, you know, it's just it's everything. Wonderful. I love it. Um, Thank you. It was beautiful. <laughs> I love you for your beauty, not your booty. All right, Rack. <laughs> beauty. <laughs> well, that, that was a hell of a segue. <laughs> yeah, right. If I thought you sounded like you were flirting with me. Um, I'm a man, boo. <laughs> um, well, that, 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 I, I mean, it, you know... I don't know if it's because you two is Irish or if you, if it's just you know because of your relationship with music, but um, you know you you picked up on the on um the, the emotion and the feeling really well. I thought I, again you know the 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 beautiful joke you know it, it really was beautiful. Um, you, you did a fantastic job with that. It was romantic and and you know anyone would love to hear those words whispered to them. Thank you, Randy. I agree. They, I, I, they agree. Are, I do love them because they're Irish too, but you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Blade, what did what did you think? Oh yeah, she's she uh, Silk. I'm back. I'm yeah. back. Oh oh, oh she's there. You. All right, go. <laughs> what did you think of Blue's piece? Did you catch it? Were you still listening? Um. Yes, yeah, I got to listen to it. I thought it was lovely. And of course, beautiful. And um, I, I wanted to comment that you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, your brain might might not be as acute as it was, but we still think you're adorable. Oh, <laughs> but thank yeah. you. <laughs> you got that going for it. <laughs> yeah, that was, I think I think Adam said that, or whoever said that. Yeah, that was Adam. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Why no, so the, um, <laughs> Oh my God! The line "Together we found religion" silenced the cry of bitter hearts at war. United, hungry hands will create our own stunning ma- masterpiece. I loved those lines. I, I loved, I, I loved the "We found religion" line. That was, oh. It it literally made me. It literally took my breath away. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, and then the jagged fault lines. Um, I love I love the imagery of like nature imagery and earthquake imagery. Um, mm-hmm. I've I've used that a lot in so in some of my past poetry that I lost, and it always makes me nostalgic for that. Um, yeah, and then um, scribes seductive scripts on neglected flesh. I thought that was pretty cool. Thank you, Blade. Yeah. Very, very insightful and uh, poignant. Yep, yep, definitely. Uh, so. Yeah, I thought the, I thought this was a very lovely piece too, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I I I cracked up just a little. I I I don't know if my mom was in the cutter or what, but I I misheard and you said my inspirations 
still yeah. hands can make any skeptic a believer. I, I don't know why, but I, I miss her my inspiration to something else. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so that's that's what, just for a second there. That's so why I kind of cackled uh, or broke up for a second there because it was a little unexpected, and I just I had to go back and relook. And I was like, oh crap! Uh, she didn't say that. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> but no, actually, that was my favorite stanza too because I thought the, the confessed long hidden elegies I no longer belong to me. No need or need no altar to make the soul kneel tonight. We'll make the saints blush with all the unkind things we'll do to each other. It was a beautiful line right there all the way through, just uh, a lovely um, declaration of love. Thank you. You just like the unkind things, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Licking his fingers. No comment. <laughs> Thank you, Silky. Razzmatazz. Yeah, everyone here saw different messages who commented on Boo's piece. And uh, first and foremost, what stands out is uh, the caption image for the poem, which is No Boundaries for Our Ballad. You see the Irish rock band and an image of Boo in the background. And she was always the lost or ghost member of you, too. <laughs> My imaginary band. My imaginary band. Bearing that in mind, (laughs) I I have to think of U2 music, and, you know, it sounds like love songs, but they're usually political. And so uh, there's certain lines here which talk, I think, about world hunger and the global food shortage, which we're facing in the next coming years, famine, and uh, how we to try and reclaim more of our humanity if we learn to solve the, that crucial problem in order to better unify the species. Yeah. Thank you, Rez. Thanks, Rez. It was uh, a <laughs> funny, funny comment at first. It was, it was disarming. And then you came in with the, the deep thought and then the even deeper thought seeing things that no one else sees and and then even daring to be cognitive cognitive you know precog precognitive about it you know, <laughs> loose loosen a horseman upon us you know all yeah. right <laughs> what's up you go there here we so that's that's blade next i think right yes uh yeah uh you want to put up that soundcloud i sent you earlier Okay, let me. Uh, let me see. Hey, I I hate to do it, but I got to run. Oh shit, we all got now, dropped. But I'll try to I'll try to come back. Oh, come not on. Really. we all got dropped. Not really. really. Telling me. Oh, oh, it's it's a false drop. No, you can do it. No, yeah, it, I think it may, it may have stopped recording, but we're still on the air. So, uh, I I mean, uh, I think it may have taken. Well, I don't know. I don't know what yeah, it does. Yeah, it can't be cut off because it's over three hours, so it's just um. Keeping going. Now we're in after hours party mode. No, but it it eventually cuts off after like three hours and 50 minutes. Yeah. Three hours and 50 minutes? It doesn't record anymore on the off air time. Yeah. All right, so now we're in the after hours. Time to go X rated silk. Silk, did you say you were leaving? This is a bad time to leave. We're about to get triple X in this house. (laughs) So he's like, oh, damn. Um, Okay, so, so I got the, um, he's, not, he's not waiting. He's already gone. Yeah, he's already <laughs> gone. Dang, I wanted to. <laughs> he's oh. He's still on the right? phone. I think he just had to put his phone down. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I uh, yeah, I'm still listening. I, I just I, I have to get up for a few. Okay. All right, listen to listen, listen to my thing. It's like it's less than a minute and a half. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Uh, my children are still here. Yeah, wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second. It's I. Hold on. All right, I have the MP3, but now it's saying it's still saying it's glasses. I hate that. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry. I I can just read it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, that works. It's just, I don't know why it's stuck on processing. Uh, I hate when it does that. Okay, if you don't mind, otherwise I could do it. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, You're a better reader. You're a good human. So, okay. Good. Thank you. Sorry. 
All right. Uh, the Mamba's Hunt. I pull up close and rest my head. No need to fear what lingers. The honey badger reaches into a den of death. Strike once, strike twice. A strike twelve times is nice. Fastest bite in fight or flight. It's time to claim what's mine. Strike fast, strike hard. Leave my victims scared and scarred. Discard the chains that keep me still. Escape unscathed through trees and hills. I've got the skills to maim and kill. Fight to survive. There's no ill will. Don't question the instincts. Don't question the flames. There is fire burning in my veins. Seek the truth in darkest nights. Sleep tight within my home. My bite protects my thoughts and dreams. Watch me slither or sand in streams. Sunbathe on familiar stones. Know that I am there until the hunt begins. Silent approach, above reproach, you'll never see me coming. They say beware the mongoose, sharp teeth and sharper claws, and yet I laugh in the face of danger, leave him empty-handed and bewildered as I dance just out of reach. There's quick in water as on land, slide through sand and rivers, quiver ant by serpent's hiss, the kiss of death is near. I pull up close and close my eyes, lash out at record speeds, Feel my fangs deep in your flesh. No death is guaranteed. No anti-venom within reach. Too bad. Your soul is freed. End poem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was... Uh, it was... It was. It had a good rhythm. It was slick. It was... There was a definite moment. But it was also very, like... I don't know. It's, it? I like the per, I like the perspective of like, ha 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 yeah. Like I don't know. This is what makes me think yeah, of like, yeah. you, you try to get me here, you can't get me there. You don't even know what I am. You know, I'm so like even. It's like because we all. I mean, we don't necessarily maybe all know, but you know how the black mama is the most venomous, like one of the most venomous land snakes there is. I think maybe in all of Africa for sure. Second. Okay. And most but most I was wondering in though, and can, the most ven- second most venomous in the world. Right, it which sounds is like a rat pretty, song, isn't it? Which is pretty serious. Yeah. And it's the long, yeah, it's one of the longest venomous snakes, or is the longest venomous snake. Second um, longest. They, uh, the every time. Adam's always <laughs> off the fucking mark, man. <laughs> You're <only> second. <laughs> you know what? My cousin used to call me Adam. Uh, Adam. Oh, fuck, I forget. Adam come. Adam come later. I don't remember what it was. Anyways. Uh, and but I but I was thinking that damn honey badger at the beginning made me think of the fucking little the whole honey badger thing that was going on about ten years ago plus about you know because he would just he couldn't be killed by <laughs> snake venom he would get struck and they'd be like honey badger just don't give a shit you know and like like he would it, like he he could still get the snake it would strike him and shit but he he has a a natural anti venom he's immune and it would just he would get the snake and eat it, but he would just pass out and be stoned afterwards, like going comatose, but then be up and be fine. So it made me think of that, and I was like, oh, but the black mama got the honey badger this time. And then that just set the whole pace for like, oh, it's going to – I don't know. It was, just, it, was a fun, it was a fun piece, and I, I, I love animals and nature too, and I, I see that uh, love in that. And then, and then if we took it to the metaphor side, it's like her <laughs> – you know, it, yeah, I guess it'd be a whole nother thing, like that darkness within mm-hmm. somebody that doesn't want to be um, dealt with when some, you know, uh, unbeknownst fool or <laughs> just comes, to, <laughs> you know, and then they're some done. But yet the snake's on its path and mm-hmm. doing its thing, you know, living like mm-hmm. now, you know, but yet here comes the, the predator that can defeat it, you know, like mm-hmm. someone even that's built to kill it, you know, because nature's all about balance like that. You might be the most dangerous mm-hmm. thing, but there's always an apex. There's always another predator or another one that can get you, you know, and mm-hmm. it's just interesting that it kind of goes out, you know, into that circle that this dangerous creature, uh, you know, survives an attack, kills that unsuspecting, you know, it's something something more dangerous supposedly more dangerous comes along and it's un, unafraid oh, it was very cool a lot of interesting personification and just fun piece but yeah, that was cool Thanks. So, I think you sound like a love song too I mean she write it in a way <laughs> you 
Not you. So can I say I'm versatile? Yes, you are. I, I think <laughs> deep and darker night sleep tight within my home. My bite protects my thoughts and dreams. Don't fuck with her because she's got the bite and thing. You know, she, he might be bigger, long, whatever, stronger, but don't. She's she's not gonna fit up with this. What I see is empowering here. Like he's slithering around doing his thing, but she's got a little secret for him up her sleeve or up her. I don't know what you call it on snake, but um, and you know. Until the hunt begins. <laughs> and I think the way you read it was fast. I hear music in this one big time. Yeah. If you want to put Yeah, music, there's music in the SoundCloud. But. Okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, and like, you know, she's not cowering down to him. He might be a snake, but she's got bigger plans for this fucker, you know? And, uh. uh Black Mamas are one of the most aggressive snakes in the world. Right, it'll chase yeah, you down. Yeah, there's plenty of snakes in the world. Ain't that the truth? Amen, sister. Mm-hmm. And there's no venom for this this kind of guy, so he's gonna have to die a long, slow death. <laughs> Good <laughs> shit, right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but in Adam. Okay. Oh, I mean, you know, just uh, silk. Is he silk present? Stuff to play? He still stepped away. All right, uh, Raz. Yeah, you know, it's the Mamba number five right here. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, it's, uh, the snake doesn't want you to dance no more. Yeah, right? <laughs> Raz, you are so comical this evening. <laughs> Think about how many, there's a lot of snakes out there that think that women are just supposed to cower to them and just going to, you know, fall down at their feet and they're just, you know, going to overpower them. Yeah. And there's, she's telling him right here, she's a badass bitch and she ain't going to take it. That's how I see it. Um, that's how I want to see it. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Yeah. You go, girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. A, a little bit of honey badger in my life. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know they all want the honey, Adam. They all want the honey, Adam. Mm-hmm. Rack, what did you think of this? Yeah, well, what what Boo said was exactly where I was going to go because um I can't help but um you know if Freud would love my brain um you know the the sexual overtones of the snake and whatnot um mm-hmm. to me um it, it it's the classic battle um where where the guy thinks he's going to overpower the woman and you know mm-hmm. he's he's um. The tables get turned, and uh, he's the he's the one that winds up, you know, the victim. So uh, yeah, yeah I, I I saw that as the metaphor in this, but you know it, the, mm-hmm. the reality of it too. You know, it stands on its own. It, it you know the, the badger killed the snake. Mm-hmm. Take that bitch. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that 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 idea. Um, I so ineptly was trying to express when I was trying like. Yeah, it's the vi- the vi- the supposed victim becomes the victor here, and the honey badger dies, and then mm-hmm. Snake, mm-hmm. you know Black Mama goes on doing her thing, and that tells. Ba- yeah, I mean yeah. it's a, it's an empowering piece. Boo, you know, Boone Rack right about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, I wish I could remember the, the dude that sang Mambo. Mambo number five because I want to reference his name. Oh, I, I can't know, even. I think. know who it is. It's um it's something Vega, Lou Vega. Lou Luco Vega. Luke, 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 Luco Vega. Luco Brasi. Lou Vega. Vega with a C or V with? It's Vega, isn't it? Vega. It's Vega. It's Vega. Mambo number five. Oh, I love that song too. We should get that on the outro. Ladies and gentlemen, Mambo number five. Uh, Silk. Play. Still stepped away. All right. I didn't know. I just wanted to make sure, you know, touch. Uh, hey, Adam, what did you think about a um, speed round? Hmm? I don't, how does that go? Or just after hours, okay, right? So like we can just whatever sound, whatever's yeah, groovy. Everyone's like, hanging everybody out. Everybody grabs the brevity. Everybody grabs the brevity. Then the person reads, and then the next person comments, and the next person reads, and the next person comments like that. So it's quick. If you're down with it. And I'll get one for Raz. Yeah. So, like, you read, and then Raz comments, and then Raz reads, and I comment, and I comment, and then 
um, blade reads and then blade reads and silky. 